Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. What a not so nice way to start a day when it's raining sideways. It's grey, it's cloudy and it's miserable. But all I have to say to that is, it's not my problem. Because he, 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 he. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom and I film every single weekday of my life and post it on the internet for your faces. And for the last like nearly three weeks, I've been traveling around the world. We've been to Dubai, we've been to Tokyo, we've been to Singapore. And as much as I have loved Singapore, the weather is saying, Get out of here. So with my bags packed, we're off on a new adventure. Oh, and if you want to follow along with it, then do me a favor, create a YouTube channel, click the subscribe button, ding dong the bell, and help get us to 2.6 million subscribers. Alrighty ho. I am one man with two heavy ass suitcases, and I've got to get them down to the lobby. One half marathon later, we've made it. And to check out the hotel, all I've got to do is this. Wait for it. Hey we're gone. Taxi to the airport time. I've loved doing a 10k every day with you. I appreciate it. My legs will never forgive you ever again. I appreciate you. Thank you for the best. Being the best. Honestly. Thanks for looking after our little dude. It's all And hey! Oh it's okay. You He can't be sad now on the shortest flight we're about to take. Seven hours, no problem. Two hours. I know it's always sad saying goodbye to someone you've enjoyed being. You went to the hospital, you went to the side. <laughs> Little dude. But okay, yeah, it is indeed taxi time. The rain is pouring down, look at it. It's like a sad omen of us leaving. But where we're next going, woo, the weather is looking good. We've absolutely overrun this poor taxi driver's car. We've got a pram in the front, all our bags in the back. But we're on our way to the International Airport. Terminal 4, we meet for the first time. Ooh, it looks kind of trippy. Our life belongings are loaded up and we've got to go and get it all checked. And I, I have to showcase this because I have never seen anything like that before in my life. You've got your normal airport, your shops, your signs, your checking areas, and then all of a sudden you've got Robocop. What is that about? That's amazing. Look at it. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. It just starts running people over. <laughs> Stop resisting. <laughs> Stop resisting. <laughs> You're stuck under the wheels. Can you explain why you've got your feet on the handlebar like a monkey? Get them down. Get them, get them, <laughs> Alfred, get them down. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, all right? You big fussy magoo. I've got a feeling this is gonna cost us an awful lot of money in extra weight charges. You ready? Uh, we're 11 kg over. Okay. Hang on a second, that's saying 21.8 kg. Oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's just got a little bit lighter. Yeah, I know, right? Dang it. 275 dollars. 275 Singapore dollars? Yes. That's okay. Because they know we've got Alfie, these guys just talk to each other and we're like, did some math and they got it down by $100. Okay, bill paid. The only thing I need to do next is get rid of my mobile Wi-Fi hotspot that I got on the way in here, but I'm not quite sure where I return it. I've been pointed off in this direction. And thank goodness, there is a man on the stand. Hello, sir. And just like that, it's returned and we're good to go. And through security we go. That was very smooth. It now looks like we're about to have an MRI scan. And can we just point out this amazing animation that's going on up top that shows what happens to your luggage throughout. If I was a kid and watching this, I'd be in absolute awe. Look at that. <laughs> That's so good. Singapore security was one of the smoothest things ever. You didn't have to take anything out. It's so lovely, so nice. And honestly, you didn't have to take anything out. No laptops, no batteries, no cameras, no liquids, no nothing. I've got medicine as well for Alfie. And I had a bottle of water and I'm like, oh, when he's getting rid of this? And he was like, is it for the baby? I was like, oh, like, take it. Brilliant. That was, was honestly so smooth. Apart from Alfie got checked and I've got a feeling it was to do with your butt cheeks. Because you're stinky. I am jealous. Look at that. Living the life. I want an electric suitcase to ride around an airport. This airport really is beautiful. All right, Nibble, should we do a check? Let me see it. Let me see your toothy. Where is it? His first ever tooth has come through. There. <laughs> You've gone from jelly man Alfredo to nibble. I'm also gonna call you a stinky. <laughs> Listen to him. <laughs> what are these sounds you're making? <laughs> he's growing up too fast, man. Five months old. He's like, he's almost there with crawling. He's got a tooth coming through and he's trying his best to talk. What a bloke. Just, just what a bloke. 
Okie dokie Jones, we are boarding. Who needs business class first class or anything like that? When you got a, when you got a baby, you are priority and then some. First people going on the plane. And I'm kind of glad because Lydia's got her bag, Alfie, the stroller. Uh, she's found a mass amount of food. I've got a bag. I've got this bag. I've got my backpack. Man, we need all the overhead space we can get. This has been a smooth process. Like, yeah, so far, we'll probably get the thing of like, oh yeah. But again, it was it was almost going to cost us like 200 British pounds and it ended up costing, ended up costing us 70 quid. And now we've just got to drop the stroller off and take Alfie out and we're on board. <laughs> Can fly with Alfie more often. Got the entire plane to choose from. He says, but I'm 99% sure it's a completely fully booked flight, so thank God we're getting on first. Oh, this plane is smoking. Thank you, Lily. She organized me a window seat. It's very good. I can see all the rain. What are you saying on my gunsmoke? It's made great That's a good chalky milk. Oof. There is traffic on the runway and I would love to be able to show it here, but apparently my camera wants to focus on the raindrops. That is very inconvenient. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, Singapore. You've been amazing, you've been hot, you've been wet, but we are out of here. It would seem we are coming into land and I can see some coastline and I can see some islands. Look at that! I am very excited. Oh, this is so cool! I feel like I'm entering Jurassic Park. And now maybe um, not so much. But we are indeed coming in for landing. Can you guess where we are yet? If so, leave a comment down below. And this could quite possibly take the biscuit for our most beautiful landing location. Cause look at that! Oh my gosh! Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Touch down. <laughs> And what a boy. Absolutely out for the count. Just, why? Why does everyone do this? They stand up and just cause chaos. Just take your time. Chill out, sit down. The door's not even open yet, guys. No. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And here we go. Alfredo's officially in a brand new country. And it is hot. International arrivals time. Getting through security was pretty smooth. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a Wi-Fi pack. I've grabbed myself some cash. Lydia has got us a super fast SIM card. And we literally just turn around and there's our bag. We just need the other one and we can walk straight out. And there should be a shuttle to the hotel waiting for us. Keyword being there, should. <laughs> there's the prom. Ta-da! And we didn't lose any of his toys. And the last suitcase has arrived, woohoo! Let's do this thing. I'm just saying this right now. We're gonna have to take a screenshot on screen now of Lydia's 5G speeds, 200 down, 100 up. Holy shit. That's faster than nearly every hotel we stayed at. And we're in an airport on your, connected to your mobile phone. But all right, little dude, are we ready to tell her where we are? Yeah. We are in Thailand. Woo! Your first time. My first time. We're actually in Phuket and we're staying at an awesome spot. You might recognise the name, but it, there's no brand deals, no nothing like that. It just turns out there's a really nice hotel and we're staying there for the next few days. So, should we try and find our driver? Uh, not quite exactly sure where he is. But Lydia's got eagle eyes and she's spotted the Antara Vacation Club, which is not where we need to go. Actually, we just need to walk outside. And is this our lady? There you go. Is this it? <laughs> Keep our eyes peeled for our driver. Thank you so much. Hello. Cassell, that's me. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. So because we stayed in the Antara, an Antara Dubai, we had such a good time there. Oh no, are you sure? Yes, of Thank course. you very much, I appreciate that. There you go. Sorry, as I was saying, we had such a good time at the Anantara Dubai. When we were looking in Thailand, Lydia found this hotel and was like, you know, we're not talking with them, we're not working with them or anything like that, but because we had such a good experience at the hotel, it was like, come on. And we met um, it, a it, guy who walked us to the breakfast place the first day, he was lovely. And we told him we were going to Thailand and he said he stayed here. Oh, and the whole Anantara in Dubai is based of the Thai yeah, like, culture, like, a Thai, and Thai brand, yeah. Yeah, so, hey, listen, if you're going to experience that hotel, you might as well do it where it originated from. So, we've got, like, a 20, 25-minute drive 
to get us to where we're going and we are home for the next few days. <sighs> Brilliant! The next word's out of my mouth. It is it's fucking boiling! Oh, here we go, he's falling in love with someone else. Look at the guy. He's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, whoa, whoa, we what? A chariot has arrived. What's going on here? We got a bloody VIP whiskey selection underneath. Hello. Oh, you just ticked up a bit. Oh dear, oh dear. Alfie's like me when he gets too excited, he throws up. But when I get too excited, I have a nosebleed. <laughs> Thank you so much, really appreciate it. Oh, very nice. Thank you so much. In just under 30 minutes, we'll be arriving at our destination. So did someone say montage? We've made it. We're just pulling in now to the resort. And I'm just in awe at like how much jungle and vegetation there was because uh, I obviously had to Google what sort of animals are in like in Phuket. So I found this lizard, picture on screen. Um, and I'm gonna try and catch it. It looks like it's right up my alley and belongs in my vivarium at home. So I didn't quite catch, what was it? The monitor lizard in Singapore, but this one looks a bit more scalable to catch. Hello, oh thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Here we go. Hello, you okay? Wow, we made it. We made it. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we oh, here or inside. Sorry, I was going to sit here. This look, this looks comfy. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, you can see the beach. And I'm so happy because it's only now four o'clock and we like not lost our entire day. Cause if we were turning up late at night now, we'd lose a day, but we've kind of, we've still got it ahead of us. Oh, what's been delivered? Is it cold? <gasps> that smells like sweets. That smells so good. Ooh, cheers. Butterfly tea. Butterfly tea. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Good. Oh, that's refreshing. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. What noises are you making? Oh, what noises are you making, Nibbler? What noises are you making, Nibbler? Let's get you nice and cool, eh? Oh my gosh, this hotel, this is why this chain is the best. Look, they've just given an outfit. Little jelly man, that's for you. What's that? Look at, oh, thank you so much. Now you've got a falcon and a turtle. Oh, a tortoise. I think it's, I don't know which one it is. Wow. So you pour water over the butter and it's a blessing. Oh. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, you go for it. Are you asking to be blessed and not get eaten by mosquitoes? Oh. Do you like the flowers? Right over. And then Oh, lovely. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, it's boogie time to get us to our villa. I think this is one of my favorite things about going to hotels <laughs> is just bugging around on these things. They're so cool. We get a tour, we get a breeze, it's brilliant. And um if we look a bit sticky now, it's because we've sprayed mosquito spray all over us as Lydia has been eaten alive. Whoa. This is so cool. Look at this location, man. They have free bikes you can just, well, not rob, but borrow and just ride around on. <gasps> this is the main beach house. Yeah, and then the there's the beach right there. And, oh, that's the pool. It's an infinity pool looking over the sea. <gasps> Amazing. Oh my God, this is next level. This is absolutely next level oh my gosh yeah i know right as i was just saying like honestly the mosquitoes here are crazy like lydia's got so many bites all over it just from being stood up at like the, the hotel check-in but i think this place is stunning i needed this after you know being in the in the city for like two weeks wow so we definitely have to come back because we need to do pottery classes here yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're causing traffic. Sorry, apologies. <laughs> oh my God, is that our bags? That's our bags, hey! Look at that. What? Thank you so much. Our own little private spot. Oh, don't mind if we do. Oh, this is nice. 
Oh my god. Oh, thank you so much. Look at this. Alfredo. Boom. Big bed. Yeah. Whoa. I did not see this on the pictures. Oh my lord. This is absolutely stunning. Lid. We've both got our own changing rooms. Wait, and his and her sink either side? Look at this! Wow! Listen, when I booked this at 2 o'clock in the morning, I was like, right, I, I, it looked like a good location. It wasn't too far from the airport. And obviously, out of all the other ones we could have stayed at, um, it was the fact that we stayed at the Dubai one. And the Dubai one was nice. So I thought, we'll see what this one's like because it's, it's the original. Wow. And then we've not even seen outside. <laughs> Very nice. Very very <gasps> nice yes yeah we don't want mosquitoes wow look at this is it warm it's cold oh <gasps> it's gorgeous it's, oh, it's like it's like lukewarm wait what's this down here where am i going off to what have i found here what outside shower come on now where the lizards at uh -oh. hey am i going to touch that whoa this is beautiful. Oh, home for the next four days. I think I made a good last minute decision. And you know what's even better? That is like the main bar, food, drinks area that we have just have to walk out of our door, go that way and we're there straight away. So great success. And then apparently we're just like a, a minute walk to the beach. You're actually gonna release turtles? Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> this is about to be the best trip ever. You, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click subscribe, ding dong bell, leave a like rating. That's crazy! You, I, when my baby was like born, we called him Jellyman, a little turtle. And he's always been a little turtle. So the fact that you gave us a turtle and we're going to release turtles... Everything is like... It happens for a reason. So is, is this definitely happening? Yes, on 14. Um, if you want to do like um, like lilies by yourself... So and a bamboo like shark? Yes. We're releasing sharks? Yes. What the heck? Okay, I'm, I'm really excited about... The t is it, it's the turtles. The turtles. Tortoises are on land, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to throw them in the water. <laughs> but the bamboo shark release? Mm -hmm. Wow. Do they grow big or do they stay small? Um, we release what? them small and then they go big. Like, we actually get to release them? Yes. <laughs> I'm coming back every year. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, hey, we'll see if we're, how many mosquitoes eat us. But look at him smiling. He's like, yeah, I want to go back. We'll see if we don't get eaten by mosquitoes and all's good. And imagine if we came back every year to watch them be released. Oh, Lydia, you're not seeing these pictures, mate. Oh my gosh, that's him. Look at him. He's like, he's trying to be released right now. What are you doing? What are you... <laughs> I can't wait. Lid, it's a 5,000 THB donation to be able to release the turtle. or oh, the turtles. That's a hundred pounds. I never thought in my lifetime I'd be able to release a turtle, let alone see it be done in person. We're doing it. Bonjour. <laughs> welcome, hello, come in. <laughs> Our bags are here. The poor guy, did you hear him when he was lifting them? All you heard was <laughs> as he was lifting our heavy suitcases into here. Poor guy. There was a label on it, so hopefully we won't get sued. Lydia's now just looking at like the in-room dining options. Because apparently cinema under the stars and you can set up out here to have dining out in the corner in your own little villa. I gotta keep this closed again because of uh, mosquitoes. But I'm gonna leave you, yes? Leave you here? Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna go and see where everything else is, get my spatial awareness, and I'm gonna count down the days until we're releasing turtles. We've got it booked, we're going doing it, and I cannot can wait. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Okay, let's go. Thank you for waiting, appreciate that. Oh my goodness me. Look at this for setup. We're literally just there and we walk out straight to the main area, bar, restaurant, food, pool. Come on now. Come on now, what is this? This is just insane. <laughs> I can't believe I'm staying here for the next few days. So this tide's gonna go fully out. Yes. Please. So what time? Um, today, the exact time is going to be around like 5pm. Really? Wow, so at like 5 o'clock, the tide apparently is going to out. And then you'll be able to like walk along all of this. But during the day, you've got kayaks and paddle boards that you can just have for free. And you can go 
go out as far as you want. Obviously, you don't want to get stuck by the tide, but wow. Absolutely stunning location. Wow, just look at this. <laughs> We've just come up the elevator above from the pool there because this is where you come and have breakfast every day. And when these are up, like that view, man. I feel, I feel so blessed right now. And again, I will always say this, thank you so much for watching the vlogs. Like the fact that I just be able to share these moments with you guys and just, you've seen like the ups and the downs of these shenanigans. Like I honestly didn't know if we were gonna have a hotel to on this trip until two o'clock in the morning. And the fact that we're gonna be doing that tomorrow is just unbelievable. There's elephants? What? How far away are the elephants? Um, we have like the elephant sanctuary near yeah. here, like 15 minutes. Only 15 minutes? Yeah. Oh, look at this now. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Where is everybody? Oh my gosh, look at this for a setup. <gasps> wow, wait, is there a pool? What is this? Oh no. <laughs> is it a fountain? <laughs> Imagine if I climbed in that thinking it was a swimming pool. <laughs> That's that's hilarious. <laughs> hey, you come back tomorrow and I'm just there and you're like, sir, you're gonna have to get out. That's too funny. Wow, look at this for a spot. Wow, 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 wow. Unbelievable. Thank you so much for the tour. So we've come at the perfect time as well because it's Thai New Year tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And it's a water festival. Yeah. Like water oh really? Don't worry, if I buy a water gun, I won't shoot you, okay? We're same team. Thank you. Wow. Uh-oh, a phone call's being made about the turtle release. I hope I'm not about to be sad. Um, right now, we only have baby shark available. Oh, well, I've got some news and I'm a bit sad because I've gone from being like so stoked to like, uh, they've, they, you know, like the, the, tur the, the turtle thing, they've literally had two, the last two slots some people put the name down for it, but they haven't confirmed. And if they don't confirm by the end of the day, then we'll get the last two slots. So we're in, the, in a balancing act of hoping that they don't do it. But we're gonna do the shark release. So we might not be able to do it. We're gonna do the, we're gonna do this bamboo shark release, which I think is the same location, same spot. Yeah. And if the spot for the turtles becomes available, then they'll put us on that instead. I know, talk about being from like up here oh, to like uh, in limbo. I will say this though, Lid, even if we were just here and we were watching them release the turtles, yeah. what a magical experience. Have you seen that for our son in baby jail? Huh? Yeah, I was gonna say, our son is definitely in baby jail. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you stay there. You don't go nowhere, boy. <laughs> now, I kind of spoiled this for myself, but I was gonna do bed comfort review and you can see where my fat ass is sat down already. Cause let me tell you, Oh my gosh, this is night and day compared to where we just stayed. Liv, what were our pillows like? Uh, they weren't the best. They weren't the best? It was like sleeping on concrete. <laughs> Honestly, I, I actually had the worst night's sleep and all I was doing was just adjusting my pillows throughout the night. Whereas this is like That's sleeping. So well. this, this bed's massive. It's like, oh, this is like sleeping on a cloud. Oh yeah, Alfie's gonna climb on and just take over the bed. Oh, and you know what? He can have his all his entire own half over there if he wants. Play with his toys. Play with his new turtle. Oh, this is nice. Well, that didn't take long, did it, Alfred? Look at you already invading my side of the bed. <laughs> um, and by the way, we're definitely coming back. Do you want to know why? I just decided to do an internet speed test, right? And for context, at the last hotel we were at in Singapore, the internet speed was like, I don't know, was it 10, 20 down, 10 up or something like that, in the middle of one of the busiest cities in the world, like the most technically advanced cities. Yeah, we're on the edge of Thailand right now, and boom, on screen now is the internet here. 200 up, 200 down. Super fast wi -Fi when we look it said super fast Wi-Fi, but sometimes I think they can get away with lying when it comes to what the details are. You don't even know what we're talking about, lad, but all I'm going to say <laughs> is it's fast as fudge, boy! Oh, I can actually relax now because I was like, oh, if the internet's really slow, we're going to be absolutely buggered. I know, because... I just know I'm going to want to stay here. You've got, we, we were talking about this on the way here. Like, when we go into these places, we're like, oh, we'll do a few days here, a few days there, but what you forget is... 
the, the few days become fewer because you've got the day traveling in, then the actual days you're there and then flying out. So you technically get like two days at the spot. That's why I was happy we got here at three o'clock because most hotels only let you check in at three o'clock. We've got three full days. So we've got three full days here. What time do we fly out? Do you know? Uh, I'm not quite sure, but we are making the most of it. And we're getting up earlier. We are getting up earlier. You, we usually get out of bed at like, what's it? Alfred. Up about You're like a little koala. Uh, I can't yeah, get rid of you. No, but I think I we need we need to be getting up at like eight a.m. every day because the sun here goes down at half past six, and the tide goes out at half past five. So we need to get up and make the most of the day. Isn't that right? We'll see how it goes. I was just about to set up my office on this tiny little table, but I completely forgot that we have this spot here and hallelujah to the lord british plug sockets i think they may just be a one-off though just for like the hotel because i'm pretty sure around the rest of the room they're these two pronged ones yeah they are is this european i don't know but it's time to set up shop beautiful the mobile office looking good and shows that view <laughs> lydia's running herself a bath and i'm about to have a horrid view because oh lydia's God. just spotted a set of scales and i've not weighed myself uh in quite a while there, there wasn't scales in singapore so i don't know how much i weigh i'm not sure if i want to find out i've stripped off and i am 70.2 i've eaten a lot i've drank a lot and you know what i'll take that i, I if i'm I, if i'm at or around 70 kg I'm a happy man. Now you can go back under there for the rest of the trip because I just don't care. Now, before you go get it in that bath, can you keep your eye on Alfred for two seconds? Because there's something I've got to do. What's your daddy doing? What's he doing? What's he doing, doing, doing? Anyway, <laughs> my name's Joe. Welcome to Thailand. <laughs> Close the door. Switch to the GoPro and jump in the pool. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so nice. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh, this is a bit of summit, summit. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I know I've been talking about like the mosquitoes eating us alive and stuff, but apparently they fumigate like around the resort to, to kind of keep them at bay. But obviously a few get past. So I'm a little bit scared about swimming out here, um, especially the later it gets, just in case there is billions of mosquitoes out here that are gonna turn me into a pack of watsits and crunch me away. That was a weird analogy, but you know, whatever. Not a bad place to go for a swim though. Not a bad place at all. Oh, and go on then, just one more time. Oh, um, I can see the sun, by the way. Look at the colour of that sky. Oh, my goodness. What's the water like? Gorgeous. You're going getting in the bath. That's like bath water. Straight out the water. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Where's he gone? It was a bloke here a minute ago. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. We've ordered uh, in-room dining, and I think they're setting it up outside. Some oh, candy. what is it? Oh, some candy. Yeah. Oh, look. thank you so much. Oh, lovely. Um... There was a miscommunication of what just happened then because that gentleman who's just left wasn't here to set up food. He was actually here to do the turn down service. That's where they like freshen up your bed and bring you more waters. He did also bring some sweets and this lovely cloth, but I thought he was bringing us dinner to eat outside because I saw him like the mosquito thing. Um, turns out that wasn't the case in the slightest. He left and then another bloke arrived and he's just delivered this and oh my gosh. Does that look good? Lydia's got a mango smoothie. I'm trying local beers. We've got uh, shrimp and rice. We've got, I think, crab and rice somewhere. We've got satays. Uh, Lydia's got Lydia's got mango rice. So much bloody food, my boy. I've now just been handed like an itinerary sheet, which sounds awesome. But what we didn't get the itinerary sheet for was today, but just through the TV rotating advertising things, we found out there's a fire show on the beach at 7.30 p.m. So we might try and go to it. Would you like to see some fellas flick some fire, my boy? <laughs> I know, that was really weird. He's just like, what is going on? <laughs> You're going to probably see some guys flick some fire. It's gonna be great. Alfredo is distracted by the fan above him and is also playing with his brand new turtle. Um, so we're gonna feast. So far? Good. Yeah? <gasps> that rice looks good. How many people did they think were eating? One, two, 
three, four, five. We ordered enough for five people is what they're trying to say. Dang it. Now I did ask to try both the local beers and a singer. I think I've had that one before. What was so funny? I'm listening to you. I thought the two beer names together were one. No, and then she, she was like, you want three, both? And then you, you went, yeah, I'll try one of those. And I thought like, she just said three different beers. Leave me alone. And then I've got a, a, a Chang, which I'm going to try. But I feel like I may have had that in Thailand. Not in Thailand. In Bali. Ooh. Mm. Mm. No, it's got like a, it's got a bit more of a, I don't even know what I compare it to actually. Hmm. I'm going to have to let that one sit with me for a minute. I may have to retract my statement about the flavour of this because there was this pot next to it that wasn't on it and I've just poured it on and oh my goodness me. You know that flavour of kick I was looking for? That's game changer. Oh. <laughs> that makes it go from like a three out of ten to like an... I've just enjoyed the last one percent of my meal with it. It was there. I was starving. I thought you'd laid mine out perfectly for me. I didn't even put it there, he did. That makes it go from like a three to like a nine out of 10. Wow. So this dish, I don't particularly understand. It's mango and rice. Sticky rice. Oh, it's actually quite sweet, that sauce. But Lydia loves it more than anything. Oh. Sorry. Right, I'm, I'm looking forward to your review. And the survey says... Try that rice. The rice looks good, the mango not so much. It's good. That's like cake. Oh, no. oh my gosh, that's not even rice. It's that's like rice pudding. It's so good. Oh, it's oh so rice pudding good. rice. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Dang it. It's actually really good. I really missed a genuine reaction then, didn't I? Yeah. I went. What is that sound? Is it the? Listen. Is it the AC? Like you can hear it whirring away. So I thought, oh, maybe like the big like compressor AC unit's just out the door to the left. Cause, like, listen to how loud that is. I open the door. And it's just the nature in the trees making that sound. <laughs> That's unreal. What on earth? The whole place sounds alive. I don't think I've experienced anything quite like this. It's so trippy on your senses. And that sunset is looking to, oh, is that a bat? Is that a bat going past then? I don't know if you saw that then, but that sunset is there again. It's probably a bird, but I thought it was a bat. But that sunset's looking too good for me to not go and have a look. Let me quickly be happy. I've lavished myself in this. I'm changed. And we're going checking it out. But first, I uh, forgot to try my satays. I think this has got chicken and prawns on it. Don't get it in the sauce. I must dunk it in the sauce. I have been taught from the first dish that sauces here are vital and key. What are we saying? So much better with the sauce. Again. Mm. Right, let's get out of here before I miss it all entirely. What? There's flaming lanterns outside our room. That is magical. What? Oh, this place is next level. This place is next level. This place is next level. And look at the sky. I think it would have been better if I would have got out here half an hour ago. But still, look at that. What a view. B-E-A, beautiful. And look how far the ocean's gone out. <laughs> if my dad was here with me, we'd be going combing that beach looking for crabs. And you better know later tonight, I'm probably going to do that. I've just got to hope the tide doesn't come in and then wash me back out to sea. But what a spot, man. Oh my goodness me. When you imagine a dream hotel, this is better than what you could imagine. Right on the beach. Look at that. In the evening, the beach extends for you. <laughs> Right on the beach with an infinity pool, looking beautiful. I've already said to the deer, like when we go on holidays and stuff, like when you're in like a city or a town or something like that, like getting up later, yeah, that's absolutely fine. But when you're somewhere like this, you have to make the most of every moment of it. So we've got our alarm set to get us up early tomorrow morning. So when we, we get up, we've got the entire day ahead of us to get shit done and just see what Thailand has to offer. Like there's loads of activities we can do here. And I think like maybe today and tomorrow we will probably be at the hotel, but then if there's things to go and do out there, like you saw the elephant stuff to do, like boat trips and stuff, uh, we might we might get it booked in. And I can hear loads of noises coming from the water right now. And I'm not sure if it's just like air bubbles rising to the surface, but part of me is like, is there any crabs out there? Because I'm determined to catch one of yours. Oh, I found a swing. Oh yeah. 
This is the spot. Hang on, Ken's already here. He's got his torch out on the beach. <laughs> Kenneth, would you just look at that view? Yeah, I just can't help myself. I'm leaving my shoes behind and I'm going for a wander. Let's see what I could find. Hopefully it's not a jellyfish and... Wait, is that actually a jellyfish straight away? I don't think so, but I'm going to avoid stepping on it and hopefully we might be able to find some stuff. Ooh, this is quite strange. It looks sandy. But then, like, when you dig it up, it's black. What? Wait, is this, is this normal? Or I'm, am I in an oil spill location? Wait, the, what is going... Is this normal? What has happened here? What? That's bizarre. That's, like, that is actually, like, pitch black. What? Is this normal? No way. That's bizarre. I've never seen that before in my life on a beach. Look at it. It's pitch black and it just keeps going. Wow. It doesn't look like oily, but how strange is that? The only other place I've seen black sand is in Iceland, but it doesn't have a layer of white or like, you know, normal sand on top of it. That's just, that, that, that's just weird. Ain't no way. <laughs> Boom. I got one. I actually got a, ah, man, you're aggressive. Ah! Well, he's gone. That fucking crab knew my tie. <laughs> Usually in England, they're like, slow pins, <laughs> slow pins, get off me. He literally went for the bam, 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 bam. He battered the living shit. Look at my, look at, look at my knuckle. He battered the living hell out of me. I've never been attacked so many times by a crab in such a millisecond, but hey. <laughs> uh, does that class as finding one? I feel like you've got to hold it and be like, here is the crab I've caught to say you've caught it. So I don't know if we can class that one as a victory. That bloody hurt, that man, ow. Okay, let's go for a round two. I found a different crab. He's got big ass pincers, but this time I've got a leaf to help me. Oh wow, this is actually really gonna help me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you didn't expect that, did you, mister? I know my tie. Wow, no word of a lie, this leaf actually came in so clutch. Like the one thing you decided to hide under is the one thing that helped catch him. Bro, look at you. You are a beauty. I kind of want to hold him without the leaf, but honestly, the other one just battered the hell out of me. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, I kind of want to see you. I kind of want to see you. You ready? I'm going to put you down. Let's have a look at you. Go on. Whoa, you're beautiful. You are beautiful. Look at that. Caught my first animal. Well, crustacean. In Thailand. He's a fast little... Whoa, look at that. He's kicking off with me. He is awesome. Look at this now. He's like trying to dig himself into the ground. Oh, so cool. But right, I'm going to leave you be, little dude. And as I'm stood still, I swear I can feel something digging around near me, me, me trotters. What is it? Is there a fish in there or another crab or something? No, it's just your mum. Oh, I've spotted a shrimp or something. Can you see it there with its little beady eyes? You ready? What? I bet this is dead fast. You ready? Gone. <laughs> Ain't no way I just managed to catch a shrimp. I did. No way. I'm going to put it back straight away. But wow. As if I just caught a shrimp. Look at it. Wow, that was so fast as well. Whoa. It's either a shrimp or a or a, a very small lobster. <laughs> this is so much more my kind of holiday. Like, I love going to cities and new places and all that sort of stuff, but I just love being out in nature and just doing stupid shit like this. And don't worry, I'm not leaving my beer bottle behind. I just keep putting it down when I'm filming. But honestly, this, this is so much more a bit of me. Like, let me know in the comments down below. Do you like it when I'm going around, like, cities or, like, you say, theme parks or whatever it is? You know, like, the urban side of life? Or do you prefer Tom in the wild? Like, I want to see as many comments uh, as possible of people answering, like, urban Tom, going to tourist destinations or sightseeing and that sort of stuff. Or do you prefer Tom in the wild? Because <laughs> I know as hell, I so much more prefer this. I like all of it, don't get me wrong. Like, it's a, it's a happy balance of life and doing a bit of everything, but... Oh, just walking through the water now at 7 o'clock at night, I may add. This is, it's 7 p.m. right now. In half an hour, there's going to be a fire show over there that I'm going to go and watch. And I'm currently wading through the water hunting for crabs. Like, this is, this is the definition of the happiest Tom you can ever get. I could be very wrong, but I think I found a starfish. It's very small. Where is it? I actually, there. There, what is that? You ready? Have I actually found a starfish? Like, look how small that is just for scale, by the way. How have I just spotted that? Whoa! No, wait, wait, that wasn't a starfish. It just went in the ground. 
the hell am I in June? Fucking about to get eaten. I'm back on the shoreline and look at these little romantic dinner spots you can eat at. And if I'm right in saying, just these guys over here to the left, they're setting up to do the fire show. So I better get back quick now, get ready and come back and watch them perform. I am very excited. Honey, I'm home. Little dude, I tried to catch you a crab, but they were a bit too big. And if they hurt daddy, they would hurt you. So you just fart on me. What? Go again. <laughs> Here we go. I always think these people who do this are absolutely mental and all the right reasons. He's got a mouthful of fuel right now. Ready? Let that be light. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Whoa. <laughs> As if. Talk about seats. Yo! <laughs> You've never seen anything like it! Yo! What? <laughs> oh, what's going on here now? We've got even bigger sticks! Should we be sat this close? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's trying to put it out. <laughs> just put it in the water. <laughs> Joking. I love how they're just putting it on the ground. Whoa! What? That was so. I felt. I think I've singed my, my legs. Oh, that is mesmerising. Yes. Yes. I have no idea. <laughs> how good? Day one. Day one. What? Oh, look at that. That is cool. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> That's dedication to the game. I feel like I've got a second-hand headache from the smell of fuel. Yeah. I could poss possibly pass out at any moment. Oh, there's been a switch up. I think there's outfit change going on over here. There's a headdress going on. Oh! Oh! Oh, we have got good seats. We've got good seats. What? It's a good outfit! <laughs> bro, <laughs> who's doing this at five months old, bro? <laughs> Nobody! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> you okay, it's like, don't distract me. I'm watching my show. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, it's like a Catherine wheel on it. Oh! Oh yeah! Woo! That looks so good in the reflection. Oh, the art fireworks! Woo! Oh, they've lit the thing at the back. Wow! Yeah, little dude! <laughs> Whoa! That was so good. And we almost didn't see that if it weren't like they'd say it on the tower. Wow. Alf is like, oh, is that it? Where, where are the explosions? When do the dancing pineapples come on? Oh, there's a yawn. There's a yawn. That was a brilliant. That was so good. I love that. So good. And I think we've just found out that you love fire too. Oh, I didn't realize his foot was stuck. <laughs> Have you been sat comfortably there, Alfie? Just gonna, just gonna tuck you. <laughs> I didn't think mosquito was smart. Yeah, one. you, all part of the plan. Oh, okay. Did you know you went for a neon blue drink? Yeah. A Skyfall? Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, is it like a slushy? It's thick. Oh, fa well, fa thank you, my lady. Thoughts? Yeah? I was actually going to wait to chase you, but I don't know if we're going for it. Do you know what that tastes like? What? A melted screwball scramble. That is that well is nice. Drink, it's nearly all gone already. That is what? Tom and a drink. Tom and a drink. Blue... Wow. wow. <laughs> you just love food, Corey. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie, it's very good. Mmm. Yeah, 
That is, yeah, mate. That is spicy. Spicy. I'm just having another bit of a stroll around the hotel, looking at the bar, and didn't realise that this is a bloody massive pizza oven. Ooh. Should we have a margarita? Or a pepperoni? I know we ate not too long ago, but I reckon in 30 minutes, your mum's going to say, well, I'm hungry, should we get room service? I'm calling it now. That, th there's no way you've seen Lydia have the last meal she's going to eat today. It's half past eight. We're talking about getting an early night and going to bed by like for like nine, half nine. So basically that means go to bed at like nine o'clock, stay on our phones or whatever, chatting, talking, play with Happy till 10, getting him to sleep and then uh, go to bed. So I reckon there'll be food consumed. And so the adventurers return home, pass their fire at their front door and enter in to their abode. Mosquito check. Symbol is the Anantara logo. I did think it was a math for a second. You mean from the fire display? Yeah. Did you get that? I knew that since day one. Oh. The logo at the front of the hotel is that as well. Yeah. I'm closing the curtains, right? And then Lydia says something to me, and I go, What? Try this dusty sweet. Wait, didn't we have one of these earlier? Are you sure you're supposed to eat these and they're not supposed to be like bath bombs or something? I like it first. That tastes like it should be a bath bomb, babe. I don't think it's a sweet. Babe, that fucking piece of chalk, mate. Is, that an, is it an incense to burn? <laughs> what have you fed me? <laughs> it's fucking clay pottery. I'm not even kidding. You've just made me put clay in my mouth. No, I'll read the instructions. As we prepare the herbal steam bath, simply mix the white clay filler <laughs> with water and allow it to soak for three minutes. I fucking knew that wasn't a sweet. Did you eat one? Did you know it was a sweet? <laughs> Please note that the mixture is only for external use. <laughs> Embrace the essence of, of this with us and enjoy the rejuvenating experience. He's like, eat it. He said he was some sweets. <laughs> he did say sweets actually. I just fucking nearly yet clay. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do this properly. <laughs> Fill this up with hot water. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she met. I almost put the whole thing in my mouth and ate it. Oh my god, imagine. <laughs> imagine if I would have swallowed it. Oh, that's so funny, babe. <laughs> I'm so dusty. I'm like, look at my I've, had a, I've got a feeling you've ate one. I yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever you say. Right, now the clay's in and it says to mix by hand. Oh, wow, you can. Oh! Yeah, you can proper feel it and see it in the bottom. And. You're supposed to let it soak for three minutes, put the scent in it, and it is a Thai herbal steam bath, which symbolizes renewal and blessings. Okay. And it smells incredible. <laughs> just, just doesn't quite taste it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a core, Lid. That was a core memory. We just unlocked a core memory forever then. Like, absolutely. Good morning, world. And good morning, my boy. Look at you. Are you ready to start a new dawn? And a new day? In style. Leroy! Jenkins. <laughs> what a place to wake up. Oh my goodness me. That's my shower done for the morning. Now let's go and get breakfast. Oh, I am hungry. And I still can't quite believe that we get to call this home for the next few days. <laughs> Good morning from Phuket, Thailand. And what a place to come out and head for breakfast. This is just, oh, very good, very nice. We are going up and he is Going down into dreamland, hey. Great success. Dad managed to keep him asleep. Oh yeah, you like that? And I like that. I did not see this sculpture when we first pulled up. That's awesome. But first, we feast at Zuma. And how lovely, because it is Thai New Year today. So everyone's all dressed up and it's just so gorgeous. 
look at the view with the ocean back in because last night I was walking around probably just past that line there and there was no water whatsoever and now it's just come back in. Now we've got breakfast with fresh food, we've got waffles, pancakes, meats, eggs. I think we should first showcase what has been eaten the most on this holiday and that is us. Um, I've noticed I've been bit on the back of my leg, if you zoom into that. That's a big old mosquito bite there. And Lydia, where's yours? Oh, let me see it. Oh. Babe, you react so bad. Oh my, they look like a golf ball. It is so bad. They're sore. They look sore. Looks like a mosquito is whacking you with a hammer <laughs> rather than biting Honestly, you. <laughs> I love Thailand so much, but every time I come off again, I get eaten alive. I like, know. Time. You're putting me like in a paranoid state of them like getting in the room or even stepping out because at night. the first time me and Jay came, one got in our room the first night. We had like um, mosquito nets round your bed. One must have got in there with oh, us. And at you alive. We woke up, we were like covered. I'm not joking, we had them everywhere. So I was like, that's not happening to me again. Yeah. So when you kept leaving the door open. Yeah, and I usually, I usually react pretty bad from mosquito bites as well. But that one on the back of my leg doesn't look as swollen as Lydia yet so I'm, I'm hoping I'll be all right you've come back with eggs and ramen how is he sleeping through this come look <laughs> five pound bet right now he wakes up yep <laughs> because this marching band is coming right in this direction what there's so many staff like it's almost like the entire hotel doing well so far. Thank you. <laughs> no way. I was not expecting that this morning. Wow. Oh yeah. Oops. Oh. Yes. He's still fast asleep. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love how I've got a little bit on my face. Look at that guy back there, wait. <laughs> he got blessed and then some. Yeah! Happy New Year! <laughs> I didn't look, by the way. Lydia pointed that out. <laughs> and just like that, off they fade into the distance. Lydia dives into, I can't believe you got ramen. That, that's ridiculous. Eggs and outfit is still fast asleep. Breakfast time, and I had to go for the pancakes, the waffles, the French toast with the scissors. Always oh, very nice. But now I enter stage two of my breakfast, which no, it's not the kids' corner. It's this room in here. Oh, oh there's a lot of options. Come on now, bread and butter pudding, oatmeal being baked like this. What? All your cereals, a halal corner. Come sausages enough eggs to make a billion omelets this must have been what lydia had as well as being able to get all of this there's chinese pork buns oh the hago shrimp oh crab meat curry noodles rice uh, bits for it i'm definitely going number 70 kg this holiday there's pastries and, and quiche donuts breads hash browns and boiled eggs an assortment of dishes and then <clears throat> baked beans where to even begin? All right, omelet's been ordered. First plate has been taken away. I've gone for a bit of a fish dish and um, a random slice of marble cake. Mm. Egg fried rice, fish chili sauce. Mm. Smoked mackerel. Please be good. Oh, it is. Mm. Yes. Come on, let's go back to back. Is the shrimp any good? What is this? Mimosa. You made me a mimosa. What a fucking woman. Let's try this one again. The survey says. Oh. Mm. 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 oh, and good morning again, you. Did you get woken up by someone dropping a spoon? Yeah, not even kidding. That entire performance there didn't wake him up in the slightest. As soon as they left, someone over there, like five tables away, dropped a spoon. Straight awake. I thought I heard that right. They just said they're announcing a water boxing competition. And I looked in the water and this is there. Sign me up. <laughs> this looks like it's about to be amazing. Someone's gonna whip out a left hook here in a minute. Oh! <laughs> hey! 
Just so good. I've not even finished my first plate. I mean, I almost arrived with a side of halloumi cheese. Oh. Oh. That's a good looking omelette. But is it any good? Oh, yeah. Mm. How do we keep finding random animals? Lydia! Little dude! It's a parrot! <laughs> <laughs> Should we say hello? Don't you eat that? Should we say hello? Look at this! <laughs> that is amazing! What's its name? Panwa. Panwa! He's so awesome! Oh, oh wait, what? <laughs> Someone's firing water guns at us! <laughs> wait, did I just miss that? She, I thought she just walked off of the parrot. He's just flown up to the tree. He literally just flew off up there and he just having the time of his life. Yeah, so is it just like the hotel's parrot that just chills around it? I thought she was like the parrot lady turning up with him. Incredible way to start the day. And what's even better, again, I know I said this last night, is, oh, Lydia, a lizard just ran under you. Literally just ran under you. Oh, I'm catching one of you late. You better know it, but the fact is we're at the restaurant there near the beach and all the entertainment, and all we've got to do is walk down this path to get to the room. It, like on the map where it shows like the villas and everywhere you can stay there's some that are like like half a mile away or something in that direction you have to get a cart from it whereas we can just walk a whole 35 steps and we're here we're home magnifico moment of truth is the sun on the pool oh a little bit in the shade but a little bit in the sun. And in between me going to the toilet to take a yit, the sun has moved over and put the pool in prime location. Go on, Lydia, cannonball. Do it. Of course it is. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> Pencil dime. <laughs> Have you got... <laughs> no, no, your surface... Well, I'm bigger, so I've got bigger surface area. Don't really go that deep. Have you got your sun cream on? No. Oh dear. Wait, are you serious? Can we confirm a million times over and we will do that? Not to be rude to sharks, but I would absolutely love them. I've literally got goosebumps on my arms. I would love to do the turtles instead. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Bye bye. Did we got a turtle? Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> We're gonna release a turtle into the wild. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh what a roller coaster. What a fucking, oh, leave a like rating, subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family. Little dude. We're gonna release one into the wild. We've gotta call one Alfie. Alfred, Alfred the turtle in the wild in Thailand. Hey, you've gotta get out of the bed. The lady's here to clean the room, so come on. What a day. Just what a day. Not on purpose, but we're here for Thai New Year. Oh, I know. Once a year they release baby time. Everything happens for a reason. Seriously, I could have booked a better time. And with the dates though, we didn't plan any of the holiday. If we would have stayed one more day in Dubai or one more day in Japan or something like that, it, it would have, this wouldn't have happened. We'd have missed it all. Well played. Unbelievable scenes, Alfred. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not a lizard. Look at him with his little teary eyes. I tried to put him down in the cot that we brought outside and he was like, no, I'm tired, but I'm not going to sleep. But look what we found. I'm 99% sure that that is a stink bug. Could be wrong, but I think I'm right. Little dude's having a feed and we're seeing if we can get him down for a bit of a nap. And whilst he's doing it, I am on the hunt in the bushes to see if I can find. And I'm going to give you a, a warning alert now. In the next five seconds, there is going to be a picture of a spider on the screen. If you want to skip it, skip 10 seconds or 20 seconds ahead of the video now, okay? Because in five, four, three, two, one, this spider apparently exists here in Thailand and it's very, 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 very common. And if you don't know these spiders, they are gigantic and I want to try and see one in the wild. That would be absolutely crazy to do it. So um, if I do actually find it later on, the picture's off the screen now. If I do find it later on, I'll give you a word of warning, but I'm now hunting in the bushes to try and find one of these. I'm looking it up all like the cracks and crevices. I'm seeing like random bugs, like this screams spider territory to me, but I've not seen anything, but I am determined to find one. I'm going back around the side of the property just in case like they clear away all the cobwebs at the front. And back here, they've like maybe left some behind that I could possibly 
find in the wild. Ooh, oh, yeah, see, like, round here, this looks like it could be spider territory. Also, probably mosquito territory, so this is a bad idea. But a wilderness explorer, Tom, and I will find nature. Oh, back there is calling me. Let me get some flip-flops. Oh, Lydia's Crocs. And in we go. Oh, imagine if I just walk straight into a massive spider's web now. And don't forget, these spiders are gigantic. Ooh, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. I did actually just lift up this grid because it was just like precariously placed there and no joke like a bunch of things just moved in there like lizards or something and they were gigantic. I'm going to put my torch on and put you under and see if you can see anything. Oh my gosh, I found something. What is it? Is it a frog? I found a fucking frog. <sighs> I'm back to civilization where I guarantee in the next 20 minutes I'm about to absolutely swell up with probably a thousand mosquito bites all around me. So that's going to be fun. But the bedroom is looking like no I'm here in the hotel room like, I can hear a buzzing and I'm convinced it's like a mosquito flying around my room because it keeps going. Can you hear that going? Vroom, 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 vroom. But I, I then looked outside like, wait a minute, it's louder here. And it's someone flying a drone all the way out there. You see that little black dot? It's someone flying a drone. I thought it was a bloody mosquito in my room. That's how loud it was. I'd actually like to start introducing drones into my vlogs and stuff. But like, honestly, the amount of faff and effort it is sometimes to like set it up have the drone license, are you allowed to fly in certain areas and then, you know, get, bring it into a country. Sometimes you have to get it checked and all this sort of stuff. Like it has to be under a certain weight, blah, 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 blah. It's so frustrating. But if I stop being lazy one day and maybe he's a bit more grown up because like I already have to carry, you know, Alfie's bag, uh, the, the pram, Alfie, my bag, all our stuff and everything like that. Carrying yet another thing is just not something I'm really after. So Maybe when he's a bit older, we may, we, we may allow him to run along and I'll fly a drone. And out of all the toys, you just want this box. Really? Really. Aye, aye, aye. The, the, uh, the perks of having a child. <laughs> Magical creatures. Right, I'm going to use this sheet, which is a laundry cleaning list, to get some of my shirts washed and dried and ironed and stuff like that because I'm actually out of clean clothes. I only brought enough for like two thirds of the trip. So seeing as though we're in a summery location, um, I'm gonna grab out all the summer rain t-shirts and get these washed and dried. This shirt is, what is this? Is this the sand and black shirt? Are we, oh, it's the sand and white. We don't care about that one. Team sand and black. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one washed. Ah, there's sand and black. You also deserve a wash. And do you ever get a feeling someone's watching you? What are you looking at? What are you doing right there, you? <laughs> but the laundry form is filled out. I grab my bag and I put my boy in it. Come on. Come on. You wanted to watch. In you get. We throw everything into the bag like so. And then, because I've done a bit of an express checkout, um, it should get delivered today um, for me to wear for the rest of the holiday. And that'll keep Alice very happy because she asked me to take some pictures of some Syndicate original swag. So I'm going to try my best to do so. Oh, and just like that. Hello there. Ah, just stubbed my toe. Hello, yeah, come in. Thank you. They are here to collect this. Thank you so much. I can do that. And this. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Okay, and in a couple of hours, thank you. I will have some clean clothes. Right, enough of being inside. Whoop. Whoop. We're getting in the pool. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, yes. That sun has fallen perfect on the pool. I was just building the floor inside, and Lydia said, quick, 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 quick. What on earth is is it? A, is it a stink bug? Do you see it? Look at that! Look at that! Whoa! I've got a feeling that's a giant version of the little bug me and Alfie saw before. It shall make a fine addition to my collection. Hello, mate. I'm actually saving your life from the water. You ready? You ready? In you get. In you get. Wow! Look at that. I'm gonna find out what it is. No! As I was googling here, like I did the thing where you take the Apple, the, the, the iPhone picture of it and it tells you what it is. This was it. As I was like investigating, it shat and flew off, didn't it? <laughs> it? Its wingspan were like three times the size of its body. It literally just went, see ya, and fucked off. Well, that, that ends my wilderness investigation. <laughs> and Alfie's officially in the zone. Look at my look. Hi. Oh, this is so, so nice. Hey, have you got your next chilling spot for, for, for the next 12 hours? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. Alfredo's just having a rest after playing in the pool, and rightly so, because he managed to throw into the water 
every single rock <laughs> you can see there. And I'll show you what he was doing later because what I was doing is putting the stone like that and I realised that he kept trying to pick it up and he just wanted to like look at it. He did try to put it in his mouth, which I didn't let him do, but I laid loads of them out because every time he picked one up, it's like any baby when they're like eating food or picking some up, they go, you look at it and go, yeah, no, next one. And it's the exact same motion and he just kept throwing them into the water. And that is how many times he actually did it. It kept him well occupied for like 20 minutes. So I'm going to give it a, a 10 out of 10 pool score for playing with the kid. But it is now my time to kick back and burn in the sun. I'm probably going to regret saying that. But it's time to grab some flippy floppies from here. Because whilst the gang is sleeping, I'm going for a stroll. And I'm not going empty handed. I got an ice vanilla latte and we're loving life. Oh, this is perfection. I think I'm going to leave the flip flops here and I'm doing the treacherous thing of going barefoot through the sand. Ooh. Oh, it's nice. No way, this is so good. Anantara, weather station, coconut moving, windy. <laughs> coconut still, calm. Coconut wet, rain. Coconut dry, sunny. That is <laughs> coconut gone. <laughs> Hurricane. I could have said this yesterday, but them little cabanas there is what we need to secure tomorrow so we can bring Alfie to the beach. He can hide in the shade, but then we can still enjoy the beach. And how deep is it? Oh wait, jellyfish. That is actually a jellyfish right there. Oh, I better be careful in here. Yeah, look at it. Oh, that is a bad boy and a half. So rather than going in the water, I might just have to go on the water. Mm-hmm. I'm going to investigate how to go about doing that. So it turns out this epic one belongs to the guy walking away, Simon's friend. And I actually thought it might have been to do with the hotel, but apparently he lives here in the residency section. And after a bit of a conversation about this bad boy, he said he's going to go back out and he's going to take this thing. And if his friend's okay with it, it'll take me. So I'm going to go and get my GoPro. I'm going to end up losing this thing. Oh, how typical of me is this? GoPro acquired. And now I'm putting on a life jacket <laughs> and heading out on this thing. Right, avoid the jellyfish. And uh, I'm really, don't, don't you leave me at sea. <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> I'm probably gonna need both hands for this, but eh. content. Can I, can I just put you right there and hope for the best? I think so, right? All right, here we go. <laughs> I have no idea where he's gonna take me, whether it's just out there or at sea or something like that. But look at that thing. Yes. Do you want me to grab the rope? Pass or? Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> I can't believe I just met you like <laughs> 10 minutes ago. And you're already like, yeah, I'll get rid of this guy. Oh, that's a huge shower. Thank you. What the hell have I signed up for? He said, sit in the middle. All right, I'm going to try and hold you there, guys. Oh, you ready? Oh, fucking hell. I'm going to go flying here, aren't I? I could have worn my chest mount or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is such a bad decision. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Just don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Fucking sideways. If I wouldn't have done, I'd have been fucking gone. That was epic. I thought at one stage we were going to fly. Wow. I honestly cannot believe we just bumped into each other. Oh, my arm. I'm trying to hold the camera still. Whilst holding on, it's probably just shaking. <laughs> Definitely needed both hands. And the goggles. Yeah, what a shout. Yeah, man, thank you so much. This is gonna be it now. Here it is. Oh, fuck it. I am holding on. Whoa! There. Yeah. I've got a feeling he's going full throttle here. Yes, 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 yes. These are my kind of holdings. <laughs> oh, 
I should have just let go and gone flying, but I wanted to see if I could hold on because he was absolutely bidding it. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, that was fucking epic. Bloody hell, how did... I'm not gonna be able to lift fucking... I'm not gonna be able to lift Alfie tomorrow. Wow. I survived. I survived. You know what? I'm actually kind of glad I didn't come off because of the jellyfish. Wow. That was a workout. That was actually a workout. Bloody hell. What a day. Bro, thank you. That was, that was so sick. Holy shit. Could you? All I could just hear is like just water just smashing me in the face. Were you trying to get rid of me? Were you trying to throw me out? Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. Bro, thank you so much for giving them back. Dude, thank you. That was amazing. That was wicked. I so hope that footage came out to anything or something. Because I know I was just screaming the entire time and water was just splashing at the, at the camera, but that was... That was next level. <laughs> oh, and now to get the salt water off me. And the camera. What a day. Oh, and we're back on the phone. And the least I can do now is buy a round of drinks for the lads who just hooked it up, absolutely fatty style. Such good timing, because he's packing up now and going, and th this is doing it in style. Wow. Yet again, I ask, why do I live in England? and not Thailand. Wow. Oh, unbelievable scenes. Thank you so much, yes. What a day. I just got that bucket of beers for Simon and his boys. Simon had to go, because he's actually going into like the main local city because of like the water festival that's happening. He's like, bro, you have to go. It is insane. The party is crazy. Everyone's got water guns. You've got to go, but uh, no, no offense to everything else, but I am taking this in for the entire day whilst we're here. And I was gonna say, and, and chilling out, but doing that is not exactly chilling out, it's kind of the opposite. But either way, he had to get off, so I went and took the crate of beers to his boys as a thank you and just said, really appreciate that, because he did not have to take me out on that. And to his friend who owns the jet ski, I really appreciate that. Like, <sighs> it's crazy. If you just walk out the door and go and see what's out there, the craziest event of adventures can occur, so. Great success. And we're back in the room where Alfredo is on an adventure with Falcone. And uh, high five to Lydia because she got the first mosquito kill. Are you ready? I'm gonna zoom in on it. If you look at the bag, that is a mosquito. And Lydia managed to just absolutely spot. Oh my gosh, it's massive. And when we say massive, like Lydia keeps getting bitten and you saw her legs reacting pretty bad and mine weren't bad. Like, I just thought, oh, maybe I'm not as tasty, but it turns out, apparently I am. This one here just happened like T minus 30 seconds ago, and look at it. That'll probably swell up to be the size of a golf ball. And then my little dude, I've been bitten on the bottom of my leg as well. Look at the size of that one already. <laughs> but it's not that big, because that one right there, ooh, ooh. Don't touch them. Why would you ever touch someone's mosquito bites? Oh Lord. Lydia's waiting for a buggy to pick her up to take her to the spa and then she's going to get a 90 minute massage. She gone. Five minutes later, my boy has a mohawk. <laughs> Look at that. I'm trying to get it to spike up, but it's not doing. You're looking totally red, dude. Okay, fine, you can wear a hat, all right? I thought the mohawk was better, but uh, I feel like this is better for sun protection. And I've got his little fan. Goodbye, home sweet home. We are away. And we're going on a wonder. Whee! Oh, look at this paradise. We're actually going to be here later today, Alfie, because there's a barbecue on the beach. Oh, yeah. And I think that's where we're going to be having it. Unless someone's, like, getting married here because they're doing an entire setup for it and it looks pretty sick. Wow, and look how much the sea's gone out already. Before, I was walking up to those wooden posts and now it's all the way up there. And with Alfie factor 50 would up, uh, bug spray all over him. Um, we're gonna go and see if we can find some jellyfish. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with H. Little dude, that's a hermit crab. You ready? Wait for it to start going. Watch that shell right there. Wow, we've seen a hermit crab. What? 
No way! As if me and Alfie have just found that. Sorry for the shaky camera work there. Alfie got very excited and decided to pull my hair and throw me all over the place. But look at it go! Oh, he has gone off into the rocks. Great spot, dude. Whoa, we found a jellyfish that's washed up. I ain't touching that one, Alfie. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you even double dog dare me or whatever it is. That looks dangerous. Look at it. That's what we saw swimming in the ocean before. Man, and people, people don't think aliens are real. Things like that exist on our own planet. Like, if that came from space, everyone would be like, alien! Yet when it's on our doorstep, we call it a jellyfish and we're not even bothered by it. Do you know what? Isn't it the... Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Whoa! There's one there, 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 there's one there. I'm going to have to ask. Excuse me, are they, the jellyfish, are they poisonous? Uh, this one is not. No, no, not poisonous. Do they sting though? Like a, oh, like a mosquito bite. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, my gosh. That was the first one we just looked at, but I didn't even realize we passed that one, that one, that one, and that one. There's so many of them. Wow. It only just clicked that I realized that me and Alfie are doing what me and my dad did on our Scottish trip adventure. And, oh, Alfie, I've seen a crab. Look dead ahead in the water in front of me. Oh, my God. Look how fast it swims. Can you see it? Can you see that? Can you see how fast that? That is a actual crab. Look how fast it's going. Whoa! Mate, that guy is zooming and he's going sideways. Wait, there was two of them. They just used a distraction technique. Dude, you just saw your first ever crab. Wow, no way. Uh, yeah, but seriously, I've just realized that I'm walking around here with Alfie and this is just exactly what me and my dad did together 30 years later, but in Scotland. <laughs> Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I have to be honest, walking on pure broken coral is uh, not exactly the comfiest of footsteps. But now we're beach combing. look at this. We're on the edge of the rocks and there are just crabs everywhere. Like I try and film each one that flies away from me. Well, swims, <laughs> swim, flies? Swims away from me, like you walk somewhere and just 30 of them scatter off. But by the time I get my phone out, they've just absolutely gone. What a day. Look at him looking at the water like, I know there's crabs out here, Dad, we'll catch some. And that's how I know you're a cassel. Hang on a second. Why are you running off with other women? What's going on? What's your name, sorry? Me. May? Are you running off with me? Look at it. <laughs> oh, he loves it. Dude, look who it is. Dude. Fuck. Oh, we just got a bottle, so he's so excited. Yeah. For some reason, he just loves cold bottles. He's definitely my son. I'm just making a pit stop at home to get some insect repellent and look what I've spotted. Is that like a giant... Oh, is it dead? Oh, I think it's dead. It's stiff. Are you dead, my friend? Or are you just sleeping? I'm going to put you there. I think you're dead. Oh dear. Well, that was anticlimactic. But at least now, uh, seeing as though I've got half of this bottle sprayed upon me, uh, the mosquitoes won't keep eating me. <laughs> Famous last words. I got some more for Alfie as well. He's actually not been bitten up until this point and I want to keep it that way. So more repellent, please. There ain't no way this is all just for the barbecue tonight. Look at it. This is gorgeous. Oh, the, what, what location? I, I, if they actually say someone's actually getting married and this is not for the barbecue, I won't be surprised because this is kind of next level. And I've got just one question for you. Got ice? <laughs> That is so cool. Awesome. Yes. What a setup. This is definitely for the wedding. I'm calling it right now. Someone's getting married and I'm just like walking through like, wow, we're so eating here tonight. And then we're definitely not. Love this place. Couldn't have picked a better location, I don't think, if I would have tried. And the amount of trying and effort that went into it was panicking. <laughs> Very late at night. But as I'm watching this sunset like this, part of me's thinking, could I make it on foot from here? to there and then explore all that forest tomorrow. I want to say yes, but I'm gonna need better footwear than flip flops, which is kind of stupid because I literally have beach combing, like scuba diving, high quality grade rubber shoes that me and my dad bought for when we went traveling and uh, I didn't bring them because I'm an idiot. But look at that view. Oh, that, it, that's the shot right there. Oh, look at that. Wow, wow, look at that. Is that someone beach combing as well? Look at that person just chilling over there. Yeah, that's the shot. Oh, I take it back. That's the shot. You do know we're going to the barbecue in half an hour. We may have ordered um, too much food. This was supposed to be a light snack. And that's not even all of it. 
I got tuna sashimi. Look at that for some light. Oh my gosh, is it any good? Yeah, oh, okay. Right. I'm gonna try tuna, tuna sashimi first. Let's see if this is any good. Looks it. Yeah, some other style tuna, okay. Oh my gosh. That. That is deliciousness. That is good. And I'm gonna try a California roll. Why did I get a California roll in India? I just saw it and then ordered it, because I was hungry. Mm. Mm. Also incredible. What's this? Shrimp tempura. And then Lydia got... Lydia got... I don't know. Lydia got shrimp. Mm. Mm. Well... I'm not even mad if we ruin the barbecue. This food's phenomenal. The smart play would be eat this now and ask that to go and to get put in the room yeah. right and then we've got late night snack because we always get hungry late at night <laughs> alfred what are you doing stop trying to send text messages at this point i don't think you'll be surprised by it but alfredo decided to um drop a bomb and potentially follow, follow through with it so he's gone back to the room <laughs> to get changed plus we need to get ready for, for to eat for to English for this evening and it does turn out that's not for a wedding that's for the barbecue that we're going to so I got all the food boxed up and we're gonna put it in the fridge for later and I can finally say I was here to watch the sunset look at that it's just about to go over the horizon of the tree line and that's all she wrote for day two beautiful hang on a second the sunset just got better because Alfredo's back thank you mummy I appreciate that did mummy go and take care of you you know a fresh little dude are we now enjoying our first Thailand sunset? Oh my gosh! Yes, the lanterns are lit again! Oh, just such an epic entrance, man. Do you know what? This is, I think I said this, like when I'm talking to Brad about designing the house next door. I am all for this sort of like inside, outside, nature, open, flowy vibe. It's, it's the way to do it. It's so cool. Look at this! Turn down service has been complete, the bed has been made! My washing's back! Oh my gosh, the visible bath! Wait, what? Wow! Are you getting in? Yes! Oh my god! It smells amazing! Look at that! They've run Lydia a bubble bath! What is it for you, little sneaky boy? Mm. I think we're not gonna put you in it because you got so much mosquito repellent on stuff that we want to keep as many layers as possible on. Oh, there's also been a little gift basket well, i'm gonna hope that these are snacks these time this time i think they are or is this i'm wait i'm gonna read the note this looks like a note is this a note it says a basket of joy and tradition and this time it definitely does say local sweets and non sweet oh non-sweets oh gosh i need to make sure they're the right ones doesn't really say what's what but i'm gonna try eating this i think that's clay again that that's definitely clay that that that, that was clay how are you supposed to differentiate differentiate the clay that doesn't look like clay. <laughs> it's like the thing. Is it cake? Is it clay? I can't, I don't think that's clay. Hmm. If that's clay, it tastes really good. Lydia just said, have you had a nut? Because apparently they're pretty good. Oh, they're sticky. You didn't say they were good. Oh my. Is it spicy? Oh, it would appear there is a present for me. I'm going to open this up and it is indeed dun 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 dun. Oh, clean socks, clean boxes. But where is my t-shirts? Are they near my suitcase? No. Are they near Alfie's suitcase? Mm, yes. <laughs> is, is this my, is this my, is this my fresh friends? Mm. Oh, come on now, moment of truth. Did we do a good job cleaning them? Oh, the Syndicate original prints all still there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Caught midway. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, technical difficulties? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what am I doing wrong with this rail? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, if you want to get your very own Syndicate Original... Syndicate Original? What did I say then? Um, summer Rain t-shirt. You can do. SyndicateOriginal.com. Get yours for summer. Oh, very nice. I would like to say we're actually going to do a new summer design. Like, obviously, this was 2023 edition. Oh, very nice. Uh, and I still absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favourite t-shirts we ever did. Uh, Alfie loves it. 
I am, what's wrong with me? Gonna have to get this bloody thing ironed again in a second. But, um, I, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Knocking them off. Alfie loves the flowers on the front, but I do indeed think, are you ready? And this is 100% not confirmed, but I think we might be doing a summer t-shirt for 2024. And do you remember how we did the 2023 one? and we did an epic giveaway with it. Well, I wanna top that. Just sing. But for tonight's outing, I think I'm gonna go Black Summer Rain. I was gonna go Black Signature, but no, 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 no. This is the way. And we, is that a mosquito? No. <laughs> Could you see it as well? Yeah. <laughs> Thought it was a mosquito, but we're ready to go out for dinner. Yay. Daddy's realized that um, we definitely need to do a green t-shirt at Syndicate Original. Cause I just do not ma match this family sometimes at all, but, Little love heart, we're going for a barbecue. We going out, out, out. It is just such an ambiance coming out to this. On oh, the music as well, because I think there is going to be another fire show tonight. Oh, I'm going to say there is, because I can smell paraffin from here and I can see the flames. But if we go up this way, I believe we'll make our way to the barbecue. Oh, this looks lovely. We've got the gelato truck. We've got, what is this? Oh, I think I'm at the dessert aisle. Oh, tiramisu. Oh, Lydia's gonna destroy this. What? We've got Wagyu. Oh my goodness me, I was not expecting this in the slightest. Oh, oh gosh, it's a bit too soon. It's the crabs I was chasing last night. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, calamari. And then this, wow, wow. That is next level. Look at that for a seafood platter, flipping heck. We've got oysters, crikey Joe. We've got sushi, how are you doing guys? This looks amazing. Whoa, <gasps> no way, yes. Oh my gosh, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I'm digging straight in, I'm not even waiting. Oh, great decisions have been made, but I've got to go and watch this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's even better closer. Yeah! Wow. Wow. I already know I filmed so much of this because it's the same show from last night. So don't worry, I'm not going to get carried away here, but I am going to watch it. I didn't film this night last night. Look, it's balls of steel, like wool or whatever it is. Look how sick that is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got this angle. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> As if, I know I said I wasn't gonna get carried away, but oh my gosh, what an angle to film that with. Wow. How oh, good is that? Oh my gosh, that guy, that guy, I know, that I know. guy. Uh, that guy. Real guy. Give, give that guy a right. Give, give that guy a, 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 an Orion. <laughs> give that guy a race. Okay. Now for some food. <laughs> I thought it was just music playing from the speakers. I didn't know it was part of like a show. I did not even see them. I did not know they were just stood right there. Oh, how lovely. Oh, and they're just running off sideways. Look at them go. They're gone. What? No way. Honestly, this this holiday and this resort just keeps getting better and better. Lydia, a toast to an incredible journey and to our even more incredible son, oh, Alfred. I'm such a good boy. We love you, little dude. We love you. <laughs> Look at him. You are the cutest little thing. All right, it's time. Strip loin of Wagyu. Oh, this is happening. G give me this. How is this going to taste? Thank you, sir. Mm. Mm. Without even any sauce or flavor, that's already better than a majority of steaks you can have in the UK. Wow. That is, that is real. Oh, it is cooked to perfection. Mm. That's good. Just a quick question, Lydia. Why did we order sushi? Um, when we were going to a seafood barbecue tonight. I thought you mean it was me. You ordered 12 sushi rolls or whatever. Because I didn't want to be left out. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, sure. But uh, it turns out they had almost the exact same thing here, but almost even better. This is like a tuna soy something mix. I have no idea what it is, but... I'm about to go and take every pot of it they've got from up there because it is fucking good. We've both been back for round two we've got shrimp we've got everything and i've got 
sea bass in banana leaf. I've already tried a little bit, bit of it and it's like eating candy. Mm. Uh oh. I think they set a lantern off and it got stuck in the tree. Oh dear. <laughs> uh oh. Um, it fell from there and it landed in that tree. You know the saying, too many cooks? Well, in this case, um, it was the perfect amount of cooks because they all had like a little bucket of water. They chucked it that way and they doused the, doused the fire out. Huzzah! And as Lydia just said, uh, as for confirmation that they're not bothered that that happened, there's another one going off in the distance now. Wow! Look at that! And this time it missed a tree. Yes! That's epic! Oh, oh, actually... It hit the tree, but it did actually miss it. It's going past now. And I've been asked if I want to set one off. And obviously I said, yes. And I think this is where they're doing it. I'm so looking forward to doing this. And look where you're setting lanterns off on the beach underneath the moonlight. And the moon's looking like that. Wow. Look how far away the lantern they just set off has gone. After nearly taking out that tree, it is now but like a star in the distance. Oh, here we go. It's our turn. And where is she? Hey. Little dude, are you ready to let go of a lantern? Are you excited? Do you know what? I think I've done it in the UK somewhere, but never abroad like this. Yeah, watch yourself. It is a steep decline. Wait, wait. Got a shoe full of sand. Look at your tucky tucky. Oh, they're massive. They are huge. Oh, you ready? Whoa. You gonna go first, Alfie? You gonna go first with mummy? Whoa. Make a wish. Make a wish. Bye now. Whoa! Oh, it's like a little metal ring or something inside it. Wow, you're doing yours? That bit. Are you making your wish? Yeah. Making your wish? <laughs> hey, sorry. <laughs> Being distracted by the phone. Look at him. Alfie, what's that? Wow! Oh, they're going together. Wow, they're, oh, they are going together. Look at that. What a location to set off a lantern. That was just gorgeous. There it goes, off into orbit, and right behind us, the moon. Unreal. I am so totally proud of you. I'm so proud of you, and I am so proud of you. <laughs> Look at it. Every time someone has a drink, he's like, I want one. Let me celebrate. It would appear I did not get the memo of the don't wear shoes to dinner invite. So, <clears throat> I'm just gonna quickly uh, take off my brand new freshly cleaned socks. <laughs> Whoopsie. And now I can be like that guy with my socks right next to me in my shoes. Thank you. Are you ready? Oh, this is the way to get to the dessert table. Mm hmm. I made good choices. I made it five feet away from the dessert table. And there's another performance going on. Gonna have to try a churro. I like a churro. Alfred, look at this. They're off! Hello! Whoa! This hotel is just the gift that keeps on giving. Like, performances, shows, great. But the vanilla ice cream? Game changer. Should've got the chocolate. Well. Got the chocolate. Girl, do not make me go back. Cause, trust me. I've had two days. I fucking Girl, will. Mmm. Wait till you try that rice. Honestly, go on then. Try the rice as well. Oh, look, more ice cream. I'm so glad I consumed 12,000 calories tonight. That's phenomenal. <laughs> Get me out of Thailand because I'm going to be fat. Incredible food tonight though. This has just been outstanding. Was not expecting it at all. Lid, you enjoy it? So good. It's only 20 past nine and I am ready to get my head down and get some rest. And you know what? At nine o'clock in the morning, we're going to be releasing turtles, little dude. You're going to be releasing a turtle, name Alfred, into the ocean. What is that about? <laughs> He's like, no, I want to keep it as a pet, please. Honey, we're home. Oh, and is it nice back in the room? The AC is glorious. The beach was nice, but it was hot and it was sweaty, but we're home. And it's now time to give Alfred a bath in the sink. Like every good parent does. Sink shower complete. And yeah. look at this little dude! Did you ever leave sink yeah, what, did I say sink shower? Fuck, I've not got the brain. How I have got the brain cells for a child, I don't know. Look at him, he looks like E.T. <laughs> and all his hair was that wet back that I was like, oh my gosh, that's what he looks like, bald. And I actually said put him back, because I was like, oh no. no. <laughs> Whatever put him back. 
That's just physically impossible. Morning, little weed. Good morning, world. Mm, and today is indeed the big day. Hello there. Hello, little dude. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you ready to release some turtles? <laughs> Look at this guy. You are the turtle and we're going to be releasing you. <laughs> An outfit change later. And not just for me. Dude, you look so totally awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Adorable. We are back out in paradise and we're going for some breakfast real quick. And then afterwards, I believe we're going over here. Feather releasing ceremony. I can hear them going. Mic check. Check one, two. Mic check. I check one too. So I'm quickly wolfing down the world's not so healthiest breakfast. But is it good? Oh yes. So I'm back for more. But this time in the form of toast and strawberry jam. The perfect way to start a day. Oh, and the vanilla latte helps as well. Look at that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Are you ready now? You ready? I'm going up, up and away. Time to check in. Hello there, you okay? Okay, the bamboo sharks are cute. But... Alfie, look at these little dudes. What? Oh, they're releasing so many. We were just saying, we thought they'd be a lot smaller. But they're actually quite big. There's so many of them. Oh, this is gonna look amazing when they get off. Okay, so it turns out the bigger so they have more chance of survival because if they're smaller, they're softer and birds. 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 And uh, other fish they sell. Yeah. Just eat them. So your little turtle's got more chance of survival. I've seen those on a beach before. They're actual shark eggs. Look at those. Wow. And then these are the sharks. Bamboo sharks. <laughs> No way! <laughs> so cute! Wow! Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. There's gonna be so many in the water. Hello! Hello! Wow! It's ceremony time, and have you found something to chomp? Have you found something to chomp, you dribble chops? <laughs> Get off it! Oh my gosh! So the turtles we're going to release in 10 okay. years time will Today be adults and they'll potentially come back here because of where they've been released to to lay turtles. eggs and repeat the cycle. Them, uh, turtle. Now I believe we're doing this in numbered order, Lid. And we're starting from 1 and we are 29 and 30. <laughs> oh here we go, they're going to show us how to handle a turtle. Oh look at it! Oh my gosh! Oh. It's so cute! Hey, no biting the turtles, okay? You've got that little tooth now, and it hurts, okay? Feel sorry for mummy. <laughs> but no biting the turtles. <laughs> Nibbler. Alright, we're most likely going last, so we're just sat up here watching the first group release them. Even just watching this is amazing. Oh my gosh, look at them go. That is just too cute. I can't believe we're gonna be able to get to do that. The first one's nearly reached the water. Go on, little dude. Go on, little dude. Oh my gosh, he's fully in. He is in and is going. Yes! That is so magical. Okay, ticket number 29 and 30 have been called. Two of these guys here are our turtles. One. We're releasing the turtles, but I think we've released Alfie to the staff. He's just walked up with our son. <laughs> Look at him. It's like a big fat trophy. Thank you so much. You ready? Yeah. Okay, this is your turtle. What? And look at this. We've, we've, we've even got an umbrella for Alfie. Thank you. Wow. Oh my goodness. Did you think you'd be doing this today? Oh my gosh. Can I, I can help. Is that okay? Are you sure? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Yes. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. You staff are amazing. Yeah, have you given him a name? Do we know if this is a girl or a boy? Oh no. 
don't know. We don't know. Very young. Oh, it's so young. We don't know. Yeah. Alfie. Whoa! Oh look, he spotted. <laughs> Little dude. Gentle. 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 We're gonna call his first one Alfie. Can do. Should we call his first one Alfie? Can do. Yeah, you can put him down on the beach. Wow. Oh. Oh. Red. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, so oh my gosh, this is incredible! Look at him go! This is Wow! You can do it! <laughs> Let's go towards the camera lady. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's so excited. So excited. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 There he is! Go on, Alfie! <laughs> Alfie's like, I'm right here. Why are you shouting at me? Are you going to come back in 15 years? And see these more. Wow! And off he goes. We've got one more to do. One more. What are we calling this one? Jelly man. Hello. Hello. Oh! I'm the one guest who's about to get bit by a turtle. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Awesome was that? How are you doing, guys? You're right. Look at that little jelly man. Look at this. We got a little badge. Whoa! <laughs> Would you class that as a successful morning? All the staff at every given opportunity. They're like, can we hold the baby? Can we give us the baby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, they can we film for they you? They filmed for us. They they had a, a, um, an umbrella over us. They were holding Alfie. They had, they had Lydia's phone taking pictures. Like, they couldn't do more for you if, if they tried. <gasps> Wait, high five to you, mama. And high five to you, my man. I know it was hot there, but you were so good. I'm so proud of you. you know what you're doing too? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought, Liz? You, you get up earlier than um, half past 10, or in my I case, 11. <laughs> we just became up now. Yeah, I know, and you get so much more stuff done in the day after you. Man, I, I feel like we, we've not even been to the other the places. Like this has just such been such a whirlwind of wowness that I can't even believe it's real. Oh, how phenomenal is that AC? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That, that is next level. It was hot on that beach. I think, what's it? It's 32 degrees outside right now. Whew. Um, I ran back to the front because I'd left the uh, the tickets behind and these are for Alfie's scrapbook. And now we're going on a bit of a random buggy adventure. Thank you so much. I need to give a bit of context where I'm going now. We've just met on the beach and we're now going on a bit of a behind the scenes tour of the hotel. And they've just opened this stargazing room two days ago. Yes, on the 12th. And you're saying we could possibly come here tonight? I already booked for you guys. Really? Yes. What? Thank you very much. Wow! One of the first guests here. Um, so 
So this is a little bit our arrival experience. We have uh, recorded the star map. The small wow. Map. What we wanted to achieve is going to give the customer the uh, you know, arrival experience and what is the bar. Wow. So you, uh, what, which horoscope are you? I, I'm Cancer. cancer. Yep. Okay. Yeah, June 21st. So I'm just demonstrate a little bit here. Yeah, so you're yeah. You're not going to make an evening into it. You can, do you see it light up? Lighting? Yeah, exactly. Wow. We're now on top of the building and there's just a, a casual observatory. Does it work? Yes, of course. Right? <laughs> what? We have a sky, uh, sky storyteller. Really? Yes, yeah, so we're going to be here <gasps> and show our guests. No way. Here we have the telescope and also... Uh, you know, <laughs> the star session, yeah. Show you star story. I've never seen this at a hotel yeah. in my life. I feel like I'm at a space center or something. The world just works in mysterious ways, doesn't it? Like, if I wouldn't have run back for those tickets, then I wouldn't have bumped back into the staff from the hotel, and they've seen me like filming everything and vlogging everything, and we got talking, and the lovely lady was like. I recognise you. And I was like, what from being really annoying around the hotel? And she was like, no, I recognise you. And she recognised me from the Anantara Dubai's socials of us doing the giveaway and all that sort of stuff. And she was like, we'd love to invite you for dinner tonight at that observatory. So me and Lydia are their guests tonight there and we're going up doing the stargazing. Imagine if I wouldn't have gone back and got these tickets and wouldn't have had that conversation. It's all about just <laughs> going out that door and going on an adventure and then coming back through that door to see your hot tamale girlfriend sat on the floor baking away. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, la la la. Don't mind if I do. Half an hour later, I got the tickets and somehow dinner reservations for tonight at 7.30 and stargazing, it looks amazing. Like, I, I was stood outside last night when we were at the barbecue and I was just looking up like, wow, the stars are really clear here, but where we're doing it is a full observatory. Oh, and look at our absolutely goose little dude. <laughs> as much as I love the turtles and how cute they are, it, it, ain't nothing cuter than him. I know I don't stop going on about it, but just, Thank you so much for watching these vlogs. Like, I, I remember like when I, I did the transition from gaming to vlogging and then I did it every day, yeah? And that was mega. And then as much as I loved doing every day, there was a burnout, you know, doing every single day, there was a bit of a burnout. But then COVID happened and it kind of made you realize like, what kind of what you're talking about, a burnout, you know, like being able to get up and go and do anything every single day of your life, just being taken away from you was like a, a, like a reality check. So to then to decide to, to, you know, after two years of not vlogging, to come back to it and give it my all. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it has been just one hell of a journey to follow along with. And I hope I'm doing a good job of keeping you on your toes to never letting you know what the next move is. I know I explain everything all the time, but I do like that element of surprise as to what's next in the vlogs and I just feel so blessed that so many of you guys have followed me on this like 14 year journey of YouTube. So truly, thank you. I'm now on operation, protect Lydia at all costs. I've just had two bottles of mosquito repellent sent to the room, so get that on you. And this lady's come up setting even more smoke coil rings up. Yes, we shall not be eaten anymore. Hey, and look who's awake, it's Alphony with Falcone and Tony. <laughs> I am now absolutely doused in that stuff. That's why I've got like a shiny layer to me, like a bodybuilder. I wish I had the muscles of one, but one thing I didn't check is, is this stuff flammable? Because um, if you threw a match at me right now, <laughs> I'd probably explode. But I am determined not to get bit. And you need to go back to sleep. Stop looking at me like that. Stop being cute. Stop being adorable and get your butt cheeks to bed. Would you like to explain that pose to everyone? Well, I went to sit down and put my feet in the in the water. Um, and now it makes sense why you're sat on a towel. Show them a towel. Because the wood is burning lava. It's been sat in 32 degree heat for the last three hours. Obviously. So I can't put my legs down. So I'm now going to have to ninja my way out of here. 
You just put your feet oh, down oh, and stand oh, oh. up. No, I'm just going to back and shake. Oh, I wish I could do some like, no, I'll screw it. That's just one way of doing it, right? That was, that was just the easiest way out. Oh! Weirdest reaction ever. You know all that bug spray I just put on? Um, my armpits feel like they're on fire. Like, don't know how to explain it. Have you this. let your cream settle at no, all? It's not for ages. Okay. Cream's been on for ages. Uh, and the bug spray. I feel like I've got the tingly mint sensation stuff under my arm. So <laughs> good job I didn't put it on my bollocks. Alfie, can I have a very nice rock from the other side, please? He's like, maybe, maybe yes, maybe. Splashing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tom's playing a very dangerous game of sitting out at 12 o'clock, which is like the peak. It's 12.34, peak heat sun. I've got 50 factor sun cream on, and I'm hoping I don't turn into a crisp. Yeah, Alfie, that big smooth one there to the left. Yeah, that one there. Oh, oh, I think he's found. Now the game is, will Alfie make it to the other side? Here we go. He's got a rock. All you got to do is make it to the other side. All the way, don't drop it. Don't drop, you, Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's mine. Ta. Look at, wow, what a lovely rock. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Dad's going on a mission. The shop, which thank goodness is right there. If we were staying at any other room, you'd have to get a buggy because you're half a mile that way. But at the restaurant, just to the side, there's the shop. Yeah. And apparently they sell Lilo's. I tried to say Lilo and she said, she was like, what do you mean? And I was like, uh, the inflatable for the pool. And she went, she went, I don't know. She was like, you mean the thing that you blow with a, with your mouth? And I went, yes, <laughs> the Lilo. And she was like, you, say again. I was so confused by Lydia's request then. She said, see if they'll blow it up for you though. I'm like, no, the job as a dad is to provide the pool floats and then you build it together. It's just the way it is. And do you know what else is the way it is? Um, you know, I said, I put all that bug cream on me to not get bit. Look. At my back, just under my arm there. Oh, freshly bit. How? Literally doused in the bug repellent stuff. And we've got one smoker there and one smoker there. And I got bit there. Lydia wants to show off a bit of a skill. It's called how to pick up the rocks that Alfie drops into the pool with your foot. Go on then. With Alfie. With Alfie. Damn, girl. You're flexible. Bye-bye now. Bye, little weird. Oh, look at this. It's the Sunday brunch that they're uh, offering right now. But me and Lydia ate way too much like this morning and last night that were too full. But oh, wait a minute. Wow. That is, um, that's one way of making it. They melt the cheese around the risotto. And as for the rest of it, Mediterranean cauliflower. Oh, whole roasted halibut, brisket, roasted leg of lamb, prime rib, roast beef, and just deliciousness. We didn't do that because I didn't think I was hungry, but damn, after seeing all this, I kind of am. Okay, I found the shop. I found water guns. Now I need to see if they've got any floats. Yes, you do. We've got a ball and a swimming ring. Hmm, unfortunately, nothing that Alfie can fit in yet, or me and Lydia can fit in. <laughs> it's, it's ages three plus, so then we're gonna have to pass on that one. But being here has reminded me that round this corner, oh, the dancers have arrived. And just along here, there are bikes you can use at the hotel. And I am very tempted to go for a bit of a ride. I could be completely wrong, but I think you might be able to rent these electric cars as well. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Yes, you can rent these. And yes, you can just take these. So I'm going to do just that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Ken would be so proud of me right now. I'm on a bike. And it's not even got a battery attached to it. Let's go. I'm as free as a bird. If a bird couldn't fly. Look at this, man. <laughs> just... Epic! Oh my gosh, I'm coming back to Thailand. I am so coming back. I had to pull over here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, they got like the little boats over here and the fishing huts. Imagine if I looked in the water here and there with the turtles that we released. <laughs> they, just, they just like got caught in a tide and were like, help. I know I probably shouldn't, but 
I kind of want to jump off this into there. Something inside me is calling me to do it. Maybe on my way back. And look, there's like a, 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 is that a shoal? A shoal of fish? Is that the right word? I'm not quite sure, but you can see them all down there. Let's continue the adventure. What, what, I'm pretty sure this just leads me to like the front of the hotel. So I'm going to keep going and see whatever I can see. Wait, did that just say evacuation room? Oh, is that in case of like tsunamis or anything? Oh, I'm really out here. Hello. There's so many people on that truck. <laughs> oh, this is, this is one of my best mega vlogs I've ever made. Can't believe it. Wait, what? I found a freaking helipad. Are you serious? Wait, this hotel is next level. I've made it to the end of the road where there's a junction. So I'm going to turn back round because I don't, I, I was supposed to be going looking for a pool float and I found a bicycle and I've, I've nearly left the bloody resort. I, I need to go back to Lydia and my son and unfortunately tell them the bad news, but what is making that noise? Is it a monkey or is it a pigeon? It was it's getting louder. What is making that sound? I couldn't see anything, but I think I should probably get out of the pure blistering sun riding along tarmac before I look like a pink lobster. Wow, I had to stop the bike because I found the sign. Tsunami hazard zone. Absolutely terrifying that that could legitimately happen just at any moment. It's not even like it's a, oh, it's a scheduled thing, like a volcano we're expecting to erupt any minute now. Tsunami could just like hit because of an earthquake. And I know you sometimes get a little bit of heads up, but <sighs> the fact that that's just an act of mother nature is just scary. Yeah, look what I've just spotted. These guys are fishing off the dock. Hello, you catch anything? Not yet? Big fish? No, whoa. Oh, nice. Just throwing a line in. Kind of reminds me of um, crabbing in Blackpool, but um, it's just a little bit better than Blackpool, isn't it? These all just look like local fishermen's huts. So maybe I won't jump off this bridge and disturb their fishing. See? That's why I got to suss out an area first. And we're now pulling back up towards a resort. I was going to drop the bike back off, but I've seen people um, park them outside the room, so I'm gonna do just that. A little bit of traffic, thank you sir, appreciate you. And Tom's bike ride adventure goes across the entranceway where we came in. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Man, I, I, <laughs> our times have changed, eh? We went from a day in the life of Tom riding to college on a bicycle to now riding around Thailand at a hotel I'm staying at with my family, my girlfriend and my child, and just loving life. Hey, so, but at the same time, things don't change. I, I was loving life then, and I'm absolutely loving life now. I think I know where I'm going. I could be completely wrong and I'm gonna need to backtrack, but hey, we're home sweet home. <laughs> Mega, honestly, if you guys are enjoying this and you're watching this, you're a big telly. Do me a favor, find that like button, drop it a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, click that subscribe button. Wow. <sighs> Unreal. Back at the room, it's been clean, thank you. I've managed to grab my hat. And I am being sent on the hunt for food. More particularly, pizza. Cause the oven is right there. Ooh. This sounds like a bit of me. I just popped back to the room to get Alfie and there's like an entire army cleaning the house. His pool lady there, groundskeeper, uh, room cleaner, <laughs> so many people. So it's probably a good timing. We were actually gonna get the pizza to take back to the room and chill, but oh, this is this is too much of a good location to not be in. The pizzas are on the way, the DJ's playing good music, we've got drinks on, on route, and this is our situation. Lovely jubbly. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This is nice. But this is also nice. You could say it's twice as nice. And that sun is scorching. When we're back at the room. A boom! Yeah. A boom! Yeah. A boom! <laughs> and little Alfie is in nice cold baby present. A two, a two, a two. A two, a two, a two. A two. <laughs> this has definitely been the, the, the right way to end off this traveling holiday. Oh. Mm. Now, a 
bit of time has passed to the point where it's almost night time and I am changed and ready to go out and so is Alfredo. But before we go off to dinner, we're just walking around the grounds and enjoying the sunset. I remembered that where we usually go for breakfast, there's actually a floor above it, which is a pretty cool viewing platform of the sunset. So going up. We're gonna go check it out, our little dude, whilst mum gets ready. We've got 30 minutes before we're going to the stargazing experience, and then uh, we've got dinner afterwards, so. Let's take a look at this rooftop terrace. Wow. Yeah, we saw this in the daytime, but this is gorgeous. Hello there. Oh, I am in the right place right now. Look at this. We've unfortunately just got here a little bit late watching the sun go down, but the moon is out, the lights are on, the fires are roaring all around us, and there's a DJ in the booth. Mate, we found the spot. And look who else found the spot, the hot tamale. Damn, girl. You've got to love this. This is the water feature. I thought I was allowed to swim in like a, an infinity pool when they gave us the tour around. Look how cool it looks in the night. Oh, hey, where are we going now? I don't, don't have a clue. You, you carry me places now. Turn up. Uh, this is a bit of a plot twist storyline. I've come to collect the bike because I meant to return it or go on an adventure later, um, and I didn't. So I'm going to quickly ride this to the drop-off point at the front I got it from. And where I dropped this off, I think we might be getting a buggy to take us to a stargazing. All right. Off to do some stargazing. Ooh. Oh, we out riding along in the jungle now, going to the stargazing. <laughs> you enjoying the selfie? Oh, look at you two. Look at that. That is the restaurant and the observatory. Observatory? Observatory. That we're going to for dinner tonight. When would you ever imagine we'd be doing this? I know we're really, we're only here for four days. We really should be seeing more of Thailand. I know. Just for this four days, this hotel oh, is amazing. Oh, it is just... <laughs> Dara, oh look at this. She showed me this earlier, but it wasn't turned on. Wow. This is Alfie Scorpio. And look at that, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, can we do cancer as well? Yeah, cancer. Look at that. And that's you and me. Wow. We just got the most lovely picture of me, Lydia and Alfie on screen now, and we're going inside. Look at this place. Hello. Wow. Hello. <laughs> this is so lovely. I did not see the ceiling. I was like, I, I, I thought something was behind me then. Oh, this is, I am in awe. I, I... What is that? Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay then, what did they order? So we're gonna make our way down the drinks menu, thank you. I appreciate this so much. How this morning we were releasing turtles. We've just had like the best day ever. And now, look at this little guy, he's so stoked. Oh my gosh. Just, just, just stretching my legs with Alfie and just feel like the luckiest man on earth. How only a few days ago did I have like the scariest moment of my life with you? Oh, thank you so much. What is it? Sip the foam first. Sip the foam? Thai white wine. Thai white wine? Okay. Why not? I think this is a bubble bath. Oh no. Oh, it's uh, a glass. <laughs> <laughs> he went. He went. Ooh. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, just take that alcohol. Is it? Yeah, so hands off it. I'd love to let him play with it, but if he put it in his mouth, he'd be like, what am I wasting? <laughs> He's staring at it. And, uh, and He's like, I it's got it. a pretty gold flower I on need it. I want it and I need it. Uh, we just found out I am allowed to eat the flower, so sorry, I'll say. Mm. Flower. Tastes like a flower. <laughs> <laughs> The first dish appetizer, Lid's going for it. Thai salad. Oh, <laughs> with flowers. And the survey says, spicy, good. Uh oh. Oh, so, oh, soft, okay. Tom's opinion. Mm. All right, you are right. I think Lydia was apprehensive about it because it's definitely got cilantro in it. Ooh. But the scallop itself. Mm. 
Oh, that is looking good. Bit of pork belly, Lydia. Yep. And some corn. I'm just gonna go for a taste test of this straight away. Lydia. Lydia. Yep. Babe, that is good. <laughs> that is good. That is good. That is really good. Oh, I didn't try the sauce. It's okay, Lydia's going straight for it. Lydia likes the sauce. It's like an egg whip of some sort. All right. Alfie. Do you remember when Daddy said he wasn't that that much keen on Thai food? Daddy is a liar because Thai food in England, oh, from takeaways, and um, is my takeaway that it's not that good. In the actual country, it's incredible. I know you did, but I've never been to Thailand, so I can't believe you. Yeah, I, yeah, that was not a fair test. Oh, and now for the corn. Got loads of stuff thrown on this. Is it good? I'll be the judge of this corn. <laughs> it's good corn. We interrupt this dinner because it's time to go stargazing. Thank you so much. This is like the whole point of this restaurant, like the <laughs> observatory that you saw up on the roof, when it's the perfect time to go up. Mick lets you know, <gasps> whoa, it's open! <laughs> that it's time to go up and look at the moon. Wow, look at this. <laughs> wow. This is the biggest telescope in, in Phuket? Yes. Oh, sorry, did I just have a look through? Yes, you can see it. Oh my God. Oh, that's it. I am not even kidding. I've never seen it that clear. Like to my naked eye, you know the one that we've got at home? Yeah. I'm like, wow, it looks really good. Yes. I said you can't adjust the focus here. Oh no, it's perfect. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Look okay. at the... Wow. Oh my goodness. That is nuts. Wow. Look at the detail on that. Unbelievable. Look at it just there in the sky. Thank you so much yeah. for this. What an unbelievable experience. But honestly, I said a minute ago, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world, like, oh, I can't wait until you're older, dude. Share yeah, these moments with you. Look at it! I'm here in uh, another island. We can see the moon just seven days in the month. You can only see the moon seven yes. days of the month? Yes, and you are, uh, today is the first day you can see. And the other day, it's gonna be like a full moon, it's too bright, you can see. Really? Like the best. Uh, wow. This trip was just meant to be. Everything's lined up perfectly. Sit, the stars have aligned. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy. Do you know what's kind of mad about this lid? Whilst you're looking through it, mm -hmm. lean back just a little bit, I can see the moon. <gasps> I can see the, like, the moon light and the reflection of the moon in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane! Wow, and then back down to dinner. Thank you very much. We're not finished yet. But we're not yeah. finished. Yes, because you actually have just um, 20 minutes. Yeah, oh really? Yes. They found few stars move backwards. Huh? Because uh, the normal star will move from east to west. Right? Yeah. But few stars move backwards. Oh. Mm. Yes. Why that? Why they move like that, right? Yeah. They're thinking maybe like um, some star is like it's not normal guy. Yeah. <laughs> they name the those planet or uh, those star is a planet. Ah. Uh -huh. Wanderer or traveler in English. Uh, That's what planet means. Yes. Wanderer or traveler. Yes, they can go everywhere they want to go, right? Yeah. yeah it's gonna be like a wanderer or traveler. Oh wow. no way! I just sat under the stars right now. Yes. I don't think we're alone in the universe because. Like you look in the ocean and you see like the jellyfish, like the crazy looking uh, creatures. Yeah. If we see them as just normal, yeah. imagine if that came from space, we'd be like alien. Uh -huh. Even just a jellyfish, we'd think that was an alien. Yeah. So some life form, it might not be as developed as us, but there's definitely got to be a life form out there. A hundred percent. But now, no one can like confirm and have it. No. Yeah, no one. Yeah. Wow. 
Look at the brightness of the stars. We're now getting a bit of a scale of the planets. And the biggest blocky planet. Wow. Wait, what comes after that? And next one is Neptune. Wow. Look at Alfie watching this. He's staring at it. <laughs> He's learning about the planets. And the biggest planet, Jupiter. Jupiter. With the name of the, um, the king Wait, of God. Wait, what is that? What? It's the biggest planet we know. See, really? Mm -hmm. That's the blue. You notice now? And this is our sun. Wow. Okay. So our sun is there, but Sirius A is mm -hmm. 20 times bigger than... 20 times brighter than the... 20, no, 20 times brighter. brighter? Two times bigger Wait, than and can sun. you point it again? You've okay. got, you got, she's got a laser beam. Yes. Uh, that's it? Yes. That one really bright star, that is it? Yes. Wow. Now we can see like... All just the firing stars. lasers at it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the biggest star we know to this day. Yes. The you why who, Scooty? Does the person who finds it get the name it? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What an interesting name they picked. So you've got names like Orion, which are gorgeous, like lovely, uh -huh. lovely names, but and then someone said you why Scooty. Yeah. Yes, and it's Greek, yeah. Yes. Can we um, see this one? Oh, oh, can you see it in the sky? Oh, no. Oh, really? Yeah. On um, the sky, we have like a um, different sky every month. Mm -hmm. Actually, like um, half year we have a winter sky, half year we have a summer sky. Yes, some star in here we can see in different sky. And then wow. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> and I'm going to point out my favorite star system over there. Can you see that laser? And that, what I'm circling, is Orion's belt. And that is from the film Men in Black. It taught me the one thing I know about the stars. <laughs> well, that was pretty mega, eh, Lid? Okay, give you a high five. That was so lovely. Thank you so much. I was not expecting to see the moon in just such glorious detail. And actually, I hope you to see in a different sky because I would like to show you the planet. You know, in this telescope, if we see the Saturn, you yeah. can see the ring of the Saturn. No, you can't. Yes. And the uh, Jupiter, we can So when see do we need to come moon. for that? Uh, after August. Right, we'll book it in. <laughs> and we're back in the restaurant. And Lydia's happy because they didn't throw away a corn she wanted. <laughs> I thought this was my uh, my next meal, but it's my next drink. And it's called Crush. Oh yeah. Cheers. <laughs> but we've got some mushroom dish and tuna tartare. Would you like one? Yeah, of course. That's so cool. Actually, change of plan. We're gonna go for this cracker mushroom dish. Brought him a pillow. Thank you. Oh. To support with his arm. He knows the struggle. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Yep. I keep making the mistake of using like my front facing camera and it's just so bad in low lighting. I need to get a different camera for like when we go out for food to review it, but I'm gonna try the crush bird's nest drink. It's so nicely sour. I feel like I'm making a species go extinct here, but oh. Wow, it's good. Oh my gosh. You're gonna be full. I'm gonna be fat. <laughs> right, time to give Lydia her ice cream of fish. <laughs> so pretty. Cheers. Oh. You, she, you literally said so pretty and then I knocked your flower off my bed. I don't know. I, the next thought through my head is how are you supposed to? Try it. You ready? I'm going for it. Yeah. Yep. Mmm. Spicy. Did it go right down to the bottom? I love tuna tartar though. Mmm. Oh, that's got a kick. A very nice kick though. Mmm. Mum, how did I once say I didn't like Thai food? Mm. But like Thai takeaway is what I didn't like. This. That is really good. I'm now going for a gyoza. Do you know what was actually quite nice? I was hungry, but then we went away and did the star thing, and the hunger that I kind of depleted just by having the snack and sitting down or having a drink burnt away, and then I'm ready to eat again. Oh. Yeah. Wait, with space. 
<laughs> Next dish, we're going for a Thai salad. Then we put with the raspberry Ooh. sauce. Raspberry? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a dessert now. We're trying to just dig into the salad and the next dish has arrived. What is this? This one is Tom Yum. Tom Yum. Is that like sour? Is it sour? Yeah, hot, and sour hot and sour soup. soup. Yeah. Okay. It's true to boiling them up and yeah. this all the soup gonna go in up. Wow. We're fill with all the herb and we're gonna remove the fire. And after that, soup gonna come down. Amazing, thank you. Wow. The, like the heat got taken away and it just dropped. It's wow. Okay. Oh, and this is going on this? Yes, correct. Oh, I thought we were just having soup in a dish. Wow. I see all that flavor in there. You, you look very content with you. Yeah. <laughs> some fun and some nice also. Thank you know. so much. Ooh. This is going to sound so odd, but I love like this kind of soup because usually I'm like, I don't like it, but I like the zing. It's kind of a weird sensation. Ready? Hon honest opinions only. Wow. Like the flavor is Yeah. It's kind of hitting me with a weird memory from somewhere and I don't know where. Yeah, it's good. And it's definitely got the, the spice. <laughs> the spice is in the back of the throat. <laughs> Well, what, what was the meat with it? What's in it? Did he say? Harvey wants to say it looks like... Almost looks like... Is it like fish? I'm not quite sure. Mm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So Even better. Oh wow. Well. Did you order a library? What is this? This is your next cocktail. <laughs> This one is a mocktail. Mocktail? Yeah, mocktail, yeah. This what? Is hey, yo. Like, so cool. Mum out here that dining so tonight. Cool. Oh, <laughs> I know I already said the soup was nice, but like I couldn't stop eating it to the point where it's blowing my face off. Like it's so spicy, but the spice doesn't last for long and it, it's just so good. <laughs> I literally drained the bowl. <laughs> Bowl's been replaced with a palate cleanser of Flavoured ice. Lydia said you won't like it because apparently it's very florally. You ready? Ooh. You are right. Palette's cleansed. Alfie, fast asleep down there. You want to appreciate the bowl? Oh, it's very good. How's our little trooper sleeping? Sleeping, but I can't move. These are the moments where we get where it's just like date night. It's just you and me. It's just you well, like just and me. Yeah, it looks like it's just you and me. And then all of a sudden, you, you know, end up. Like, I'm rigid, though, <laughs> no. <I can't> <laughs> you and me, and then you drop food, and you go, oh no, and it lands on his head. <laughs> it's right. But it's muscle man curry time, which I'm looking forward to. Not quite sure what this actually is. Yeah, roti. I'm not. I don't know what roti is. And then this is. Yep, I've just woke the child up. Um, but then this is rice cooked in coconut water. <laughs> we've not even. We've not even tried yeah. the the, the massa man curry. Uh, <laughs> I've so just plated it up and they brought this out. <gasps> this one, the catfish, uh, but the oh. catfish in Thai. So we have a three layer. The first one. Grilled catfish yep. with teriyaki sauce. The yep. middle one, we walk fry catfish with the <laughs> Thai paste curry. Yep. And the top one, the sea food. So we crispy sea bass. Really? Fry, yes. So. Oh. Thank, you. Thank you so much, guys. Right, I'm gonna have to try this curry first. Oh. Actually, they use roti like this. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 That's yes. why. <laughs> wow. Okay. Curry review first. That meat is just, it's melting in your mouth. Mm. Wow. Yeah, this is nice. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> you good? What's wrong with you? 
I like bread cooked chicken. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm being bitten, I don't even care. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Lydia's losing her shit right now. I've never seen this before. All right, okay. I'm going in. Oh. <laughs> that's not a curry, that's a dessert. That? That room in like oh. Oh my god. That could genuinely be on the dessert menu. You would not have thought that is for a curry. <laughs> Lydia's losing her marbles. <laughs> we just had that bread in Singapore on the butter chicken. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have dreams about this. Yep. This is going to overwrite the dreams. <laughs> well played, staff. Well played. I feel like I need a breather to go and watch some stars again <laughs> before I even touch the, the, the next dish. Oh, I'm really excited for it, but I'm so phenomenally full. I said phenomenally again. I keep, I've turned it into its own word now. It's not phenomenally. Yeah, what was my last one? What was, the, you have to hear me talking all the time in my vlog. Apparently Carl said it was vibe. I was saying vibe all the time. At the minute, it's not a word, but you keep doing this. The camera doesn't see it. Oh. <laughs> no. That's in between. Yeah, you like psyching yourself up. So yeah, it's in between a clip. So like when I try to like do a clip, say I'm going to try something, I go, mm, yeah, or I'm about to go, oh, here I am at the restaurant. But if I go to go, here I'm at the restaurant and someone walks past and I do it too many times, it throws me off. So then I lose the flow of like the energy I had from the last clip. So I go, so I go, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 to just like reset my mind. <laughs> Does it sound like I'm just like a piano player? And you're just like, <laughs> I do it everywhere, like if we're out in public, I do it if we're at the house. I'll try and catch it People first. must think I'm insane. I'll try and catch it. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting bullied at this point. <laughs> right, anyway, onto the, the fish. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Lydia's losing her shit. 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 Lydia's losing how many times is it? People keep saying to me, Lydia, please make a vlog. Lydia, please make a vlog. Because I just made a vlog of all of your No. <laughs> Someone's like, no, Tom, the people really want to see you doing a vlog, like in its pure entirety, all the outtakes and everything. And I'm like, guys, you don't understand how many times I fail to film a clip. Like, a, a finished vlog is usually like 400 clips or something, like whilst I'm traveling, so it's a lot of clips. If I didn't delete clips and left everything in, it would probably be a thousand. And it would make me going, that's always my right. Yeah, you, you really would get sick of it. It's not even like a comedy value thing. I'm, I'm doing you guys a favor, but. You get sick of yourself. I get really sick of myself. Oh, Tom, I can't eat English. I'm like, today. come on, Tom, English. But cheers. Cheers. Catfish. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Wow. Wow. That is, a, it's a flavour, a flavour, and then another flavour. That top bit is like angel dust. We're about to see a hand just raise up going, meh. Might have to just drop it on him, because I can't move that way apparently. That's a big mouthful, babe. <laughs> portion control yeah? yeah yeah it's good isn't it it kind of like it builds it's like do 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 mmm mm. the bottom bit's so soft yeah grilled yeah and then that was like a yeah what is it is it this the balls they're like I feel like I'm almost not quite but almost too fair you see the hand D was there a hand there I might have to re-roll the clip because I swear I saw a hand go <laughs> Right, can we re-roll the clip and zoom in on <laughs> Alfie's hand then reaching up and just grabbing Lydia? Oh my gosh. Good morning. Hello, Hello little night weed. Night. <laughs> oh, it's night time. Good evening, little weed. Did you hear there was good food? You want to come and see it? 
tonight. He's not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Hello there. Is it certain someone woke up going, what is going on? <laughs> why are you still eating and why are you still at the restaurant? Such a good little dude. Wow, we, we've done a good effort, babe. We've eaten so much. I, honestly, I am food comatose right now. You went with like great gusto at the start. You were like, yeah, I'm fine, mate. I thought we went, we, we had a bit. We went and saw start, some stars. Man. I thought I'd, I'd like balanced out and then I just realised, no. If you were coming back, yeah. what would you order? Oh, that and that. This, all the others, like some of the starter dishes were really nice, but like. Th Tom Yum soup. Tom Yum Soup. Pork, pork belly. The pork belly. The tuna. Cornetto. The tuna. Why, the does it, why does it feel like a lifetime ago the already? Mushroom. This was literally half an hour ago. We've, we've just been given so much food that our taste buds are like... <laughs> top dish so far. The, this, mm -hmm. the roti in the Massaman sauce. I think my best dish so far. Honestly, best dish, easily. I just can't fit any more food in my body. But best individual item, that sweet potato. I cannot express how good it is. The little mushrooms were great, but that sweet potato is just otherworldly. I literally, I, they've just said it's dessert time and I'm like, can, get it, can I donate it? I'm full. Whoa! Oh. Local Thai dessert. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Oh, very nice. <laughs> you enjoy that, Alfie? <laughs> I wasn't even showing that properly. Yeah, I'll try it. Wow. Ah, okay. And then you This one's the butterfly. It's not sweet potato. Oh, sweet the sweet potato sweet one. Potato. And then have the trick to have. Please close your eyes. Oh. It. Yeah? Oh, oh okay. Mmm. Uh -uh. You can taste the sweet potato. That's so bizarre. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Potato and then coconut. Yeah. Mmm. The coconut, coconut milk, milk is so nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, it's so good. I was going to say, if you have coconut, like water, no, coconut mm -hmm. milk, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to class this as a su. I'm going to class this. <laughs> Stop it! She keeps Hi, <laughs> she keeps trying to <laughs> out me for my outtakes. <laughs> Stop picking on me! I'm gonna class this as a successful evening. Hi. A very successful evening. The trip in general, yeah, uh, even more so. But yeah, mm. I'm so freaking full, man. I honestly can't eat any more food. It has been incredible, absolutely incredible. Wow, what a shock. He's at it again. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Absolutely Bye -bye. amazing. Appreciate you so much, honestly. We'll be back. We will be back. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> and Alfie, I'm going to leave it on your star sign. Dun, 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 dun. Scorpio. There you go, little dude. Let's get out of here and get you to bed. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, guys. Till next time. Absolutely. Sorry. Just oh, blessed. Absolutely blessed. So spoiled. And did you think, like. No, I just asked for the bill then, and they said no, it's taken care of. We had no idea, by the way. We didn't, that, everything that we've just said, we had no idea that it was taken care of. I was fully intended on to make a video. I was like, like, let me pay for drinks then. And they were like, no. <laughs> she was like, I just. We love food and we want you to showcase how. The, the, we love the, food. the head chef was so lovely. Chef Hong. Chef Hong, she was like, yeah, Hong about Hong Kong. I absolutely she tried to give a sticky rice to go like, with. Oh, I was like, this is delicious. It was the dessert. I was like, my absolute favourite Thai dessert is my rice and She was like, I can make it now. I'll make it now. Thank and you I was so like, much. Oh, I'm so full. And she was like, come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. I will make for you. Oh, Everyone just, is oh, so fucking lovely. Like a proper, like, just wanted to feed you. Yeah. And make you feel good. It feels warm. Love, it's like happy. She, like, I could just see her sometimes watching us eat to see what our <laughs> Yeah, she's was. looking through the window to like, see what we're like. Oh, does she like it? Oh, like, did he like it? And we can confirm. We yes. We loved everything. I love how this buggy is now struggling to go up the hill because we, we've eaten eight meals. 54 <laughs>
what? I even like the salad. You even like the salad? I even like the salad. Or is it you weighing the carrot down? Chunky you big guys. chunky boy. Going across this bridge is like my favourite thing. Just this, just this route back to the room in general is so nice. We've only got one more day left of our holiday. No, we've got one full day of our holiday left. Actually, we don't put Tomorrow. Out till yeah, and we don't fly out till seven, so we we'll probably have to check out the hotel like maybe eleven, but they may they might let us stay around the pool for a few hours. If I think if we get pool? yeah, the, the, no, not the pool. No, yeah, around the hotel. Well, you hotel. never know. Some hotels are like, get the fuck out. No, and you, you paid for your rooms until this you time, and you're just not have to using sit any facilities. So yeah, in the thing. front lobby. But yeah, so we've got a day and a, and a day and a half. Yeah. Day and a half left. Thank you so much. Let's make the most of it. Right, we've talked about this. Get out of our bed before we feed you to the fishes. Speaking of fishes, look what got delivered to the room. Mr. Thomas Cassell and family, in appreciation for your generous donations to the foundation, a shark release. Oh, A lovely little memento of how epic this trip has been. And speaking of this trip, ladies and gentlemen, I have got one entire day left, and that is today. I'm filming this right now for your faces to say, this is the last 24 hours I have in this hotel, at this resort, and I am hopefully gonna make it an absolutely action-packed, fun family adventure for you all to tune into. However, this mega vlog that I filmed has to come to an end. I'm just, why is the door open? It's going right now. No, I'm just filming an outro. Oh. You gonna say goodbye? Bye. But <laughs> I was like, we've left the door open. I realized Lydia's face is just sticking out of it. But back on track. This last three weeks of adventures has just been everything I could ever have wanted and imagined from deciding to do vlogging and traveling. Like, I, you know, people always know me from like the gaming stuff, but I always wanted to be a vlogger. I always wanted to travel the world. Even when I worked at McDonald's, my one dream and thought was like, how much money do I need to earn to be able to like get a ticket to get me like, to the first destination of like say Europe and then go from there to there and like how much do I earn and like where can I get a job to work along the way and just go traveling and through this journey that has been posting videos on the internet and for some reason you guys watching them all these years later I've been able to travel to Dubai to Tokyo to Singapore and then to Thailand but not just with me with the love of my life and my son all those years later from McDonald's literally sat there at like midnight on the tills trying to work out like the math of what have I got to do to make this happen to then like 14 years later making it a reality and it is truly and honestly hand on heart all thanks to you guys I will never stop thanking you and being grateful for everything you've ever done for me for my family in every circumstance for every up and every down you've been the most amazing incredible viewers who've ever tuned into my life and I'm going to continue to keep sharing it for your faces and I hope you keep tuning into it. So to wrap up here from Thailand with one day left, I'm going to go off and make the most of it. I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to say if you have watched this entire video or the adventure that we've been on and you haven't yet made a YouTube channel, click that subscribe button, ding dong that notification bell and tune in every single weekday at 7pm for another shenanigan filled day in the life of Tom. I appreciate you guys, you real ones, and I'm going to love you, leave you and I'll see you guys next time. So until then, much love. Bisa de Hoss.